Welcome, Gloobies, to the bonus stream where we're gonna paint our gloom have naughty mig uh, figures. <laughs> yeah. When we're gonna workshop gloomies before we just ripped it live, or what? I was gonna call them gloom havers, but that just didn't seem. I call them that. Res mm. It seemed yeah. more respectful than 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 I thought they should have. Agreed. That's true. Yeah. Oh. So normally uh, we're in the the long yam slot, but we thought it would be fun to paint our figurines instead of spending time setting up a board. Maybe I didn't want to set up a board, so I said we were doing this, and everyone just agreed. Most people will agree to anything if you're the first one to make a plan. I know, right? So much That's power. why you all came to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> why was that? <laughs> On my left is Corey. Welcome to my side of the table. <laughs> and Beach. I'm Heather. This is Karen. Hmm? And Adam. Hello. Uh, is you, if, uh, if, as you can see, uh, we're in Studio C. It's we, so big. We got internet today. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're very happy about I it. I can't even see the far wall. Mic's not off, brother. I don't know what to tell you. So, yeah. We're here. I, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I don't oh. It's been too long. It's fine. It's uh, You have to hit the whole, this is how you support our streams. Oh, okay. Uh, Patreon.com slash loading ready run. Uh, other places you can give us money are on YouTube through Super Thanks. Or on youtube.com slash loading ready run for membership. Mm -hmm. uh, Store.loadingreadyrun.com, the place that if you purchase things, Beach gets a smile. Only Beach gets a smile. Yeah, we don't have a room mic chat. Yeah, it's yeah, funny. There's no. <laughs> That's all. Just oh, who's tech? Uh, Paul's on tech. <laughs> yeah, yep. in the other room. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, I can't. I can't see him now, so it's harder for me to think about him. You're supposed to. He's he's just behind the camera there. You just gotta look at him. Pretend he's right there. I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Oh, you do that then. Okay. Uh, where, what other places make us money? This place where you're watching it right now, most likely on Twitch, but you might be watching on YouTube later. Okay. Yeah. So here on Twitch, your subs and your bits are also a good way to uh, support the channel, and we thank you for doing that. If you don't want to give us money, that is also okay. Please just stay. Yeah. We get lonely. Yeah. Mm. Or if you get lonely, you can go to discord.gg slash LRR and meet all sorts of other people who are Loading Ready Run fans. Or if, you are, uh, if you're sad that your social media service is falling apart, why not migrate to a Mastodon server and you can join kind.social just over the web. Uh, get yourself an account there. Kind.social is where everyone seems to be going, and I will let Tex and Reverend know that more people might be showing up as a result of oh, mentioning that. Oh, you guys that. did that on Checkpoint, too. Yeah. Again yeah, this yeah. week. So, it's a, it's a big room. It's a, it's this room? Yes. Yeah, but also, but so, so, also Kind.social. It's, it's a big, a big room. room. It's a big room. <laughs> and you can get in there and talk to people. I'm starting with Satin Medium. Is that a color? It, it is now. Like, Okay. It's, no, um, this is white. Yeah. Mediums are usually the paint. They look the same. Paint is made of three things. Right. right. There's the, paint, the, the pigment. There is kind of like um, uh, uh, an opaque uh, element to it. Like, like titanium dioxide or something? Yeah. Okay. And then there is the medium. Oh, which yeah. Which is just like the... It is the stuff in which, the goo in which it is contained. Yeah, it's the, 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 the solution. Right. So okay. what you're saying is that's not a color. I hope so. It is a satin medium is what it is. Okay, mm -hmm. neat. Yeah, so that is opaque because it will have something in it that will make it semi-gloss. I am terrified of doing this. Uh, this is my first painting stream. Um, and all I can screw up is my figure, mm -hmm. but I am terrified of painting things because you I'm afraid... You have three brands to choose from. I feel like I'm going to do it wrong. Don't worry. What if I Ignore told you chat. you can't do it wrong? That's encouraging. Like, he's just playing gray now, yep. so anything no. you do is going to be better than My that. boy is all rough. Just an improvement, right? I'm going to put some green on his base. This new studio smells different. Yeah, it's the like off-gassing. like this studio put on deodorant and the last one didn't. 
Uh, oh, don't don't worry. We'll be getting yeah, our uh, our own particular the smell. The smell will come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to know what the lure smell is made of. Thank you. Our terroir. Better than salami. I mean, the old place was like wall to wall plywood, so it would probably it would probably have a different smell. And this place is like um, we're getting way more paint off gassing. I bet. So. Yeah. You said my character's color was gray, so why just I don't paint them at all? You could choose not to paint the base at all. That's that's a very good point. You're kind of already there. You got a purple floating around. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, so, somebody just come in to, to 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 do a thing that I can't say live on air because if I do, everyone will know where we are. <laughs> I'll be right back. So do I want to put the paint on here? Yeah. What you'll want to do is just like dip the brush, get yeah. get the brush damp, dip the brush and oh Christ, apply it to the, the palette. <laughs> and because the palette is wet, it will keep the paint wet. Can I just pour the paint here? Right. Uh, no, dip, dip oh, your brush into it. Into it? Yeah. Mm. Trying to figure out where to start. There's so many places. Mm -hmm. I guess you want to try to go with like what essentially might be something you accidentally paint over when you paint the next thing. Yeah, usually you want to work dark to light because if you paint something that is too dark in a place where you need to apply light paint later, it will be very difficult. And then, yeah, you just thin the paint down until it has kind of the consistency of milk. Mm. And it'll go over very cleanly over uh, the white primer, which we have used. Or which I have used. Okay. Um, do we have like a rust color? Yeah, like metallic rust. Either or. Thank you. I hit them with a bag of dimes. Who? The person who came in. No, you didn't. Is that how you pay people now? Well, I gave them a bag of dimes. I didn't know we had dime bags. I had to just I could go for a dime bag. Dime bag, Daryl. <laughs> Love that guy. Well, love that guy. Do I have to, pl to play a solo? Yes. If your name's Dimebag Daryl, you have to play a solo. <laughs> he was Skinnered, right? No, no. Dimebag Daryl was Pantera. Pantera, yeah. yeah. I saw them live once. <sighs> wow, fake metal fan. Didn't know Dimebag Daryl was in Pantera. It's okay. It happens the best of us. I don't know any and of the words that you're saying. Yeah, well. Are you catching up? Just, if you don't understand what we're saying, we're either talking about The Simpsons or Dune. No, usually I can tell with Dune. I have actually read the first two books of Dune. Yes, you did. It was faster than hearing me describe them to you. And yet, I still heard that part. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that it looks uneven because he's standing on grass. <laughs> oh, brother, this is going to be difficult. <laughs> yes. Great. Okay. Oof. Look, we, none of us come out looking even. It's fine if your character doesn't either. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, asymmetry can get you a competitive advantage. Such as like increasing the stereo range of your hearing. Really? Yeah. Cool. I mean, your ears are not the same height, for one. But we don't also have like owl ears where one of them's like downturned. Oh yeah. I yeah. Mean, right. Owl ears are like weird tunnels. They are. The thing are have little fleshy doorways. Like I, I came across a video that was like, you want to see inside an owl ear? And it just like auto-played and I was like, what? And like, no. Did not want just to see that. To see Lying in body. bed, awake. <laughs> 3 a.m. Yeah. thinking about owl ears. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, hey, video, you have to wait a bit after sure. you say, do you want to see this? <laughs> Let Give me a chance to decide. And I didn't even process the question. Maybe I'll do a dark brown in the middle of his chest where the hole is. Mm. Dark brown in the middle of my chest. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, you can mix paints. Yeah. What, what happens if I do that? Don't forget to add a little bit of water. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, thin your paints. Thin my paints. Okay. Yeah. You'll It'll have go to... on much more cohesively and won't cover up details. It's like, you know, the movie, what is it, 127 Hours, mm -hmm. where that asshole is stuck in, like, a, a rock? Stuck under a rock. Yeah. yeah. And what we, an anyways, the, when he cuts through his arm, there's a specific noise that it makes, and that's the noise that my brain makes whenever I see inside of an owl's ear. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> Yeah, honestly, fair. But also, I don't know how anyone has time to watch that movie. 127 hours. Yeah. Do you want to see 127 hours? Dude, I have 90 minutes, maybe. I haven't even finished watching The NeverEnding Story. You want to watch a movie? I don't know. How long? Two hours? Mm, I don't know. You want to sit and watch six hours deep diving on lore videos on YouTube? Absolutely. Yeah. Just autoplay that shit. Every me. day. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for that other one, but... Oh, Beach, do you want Carbon Black? Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, let's Here do that. Go. All right, Carbon Black. Car bomb black for men. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's too much black. It's okay, I'll steal some. Great. Oh Christ. <clears throat> you okay? Right in the face. Yep, got it right in the face. Didn't See, hit me in the eye though. I told you you wouldn't get paint on your shirt. You're right. How did you get Called paint? Called it. Never put paint in your eye. Never put paint in your eye. I mean, I did it with nail polish once. Oi. Yeah, that's what my parents said too while during the screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Knock it off over there! <laughs> you kid! Alright, and we do that right there. Sure, that. Yes. <clears throat> it definitely looks like a big messy hole. I mean, it's probably true. Oh, you really don't need much paint to paint things. Nope. No. A mm. couple of drops will do you. <laughs> Just like poison. All right. A little of this. Well, let's make this guy brown. Let's start with the butt. <laughs> Get the brownest cover. place. <laughs> cover the yeah, we're from features. the brownest place to the <laughs> least brown place. What 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 is it? Uh, your kingdom is where all the light touches. What about oh. that dark place? Never go there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> Oh, yeah. explaining the joke. My guy doesn't have shoes. Neither does mine. Disgusting. <laughs> I mean, when the Actually, whole sure outdoors is your house. Either, so mm -hmm. I, I guess we, I probably can't go buy McDonald's. Mm. What music are you playing? The, 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 this is the traditional uh, song Fantasy theme, comma, tavern. <laughs> mm. Some dude noodling away on a lute. Passed down from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the great ones know it. All right, I'm going to say all those gray spots on the bottom of his feet are he was walking in, a, in ash. He needs to wash himself, but he hasn't done that yet. Can I just like, do we have like a vat of null oil I can just dump, dump, like, dump this guy in? And oh, you've looked like, up the memes. Yes. I've seen you paint enough time, Cameron, and I'm like, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. If I just put null oil on him, he'll be done. It's a way to cheat. Awesome. We might just end up doing that. <laughs> Liquid skill. <laughs> I can't tell what's his arm and what isn't. I can't tell what's what. Yeah, the models have a little bit of difficulty with um, their silhouettes. Or I think they prioritize silhouettes over clear details, maybe. Yeah. 
Oh, it sucks, I'll tell you that much. Doesn't make any sense. Be sure to get in between the toes. Also, why is he spreading his toes so wide? Because it feels nice. I guess. He's standing in all that grass. Like you do. Like you do. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to paint the crotch. <laughs> uh, uh, so one I stroke at a time? Like, do I... Oh, it's connected. Oh, the front and the back of his loincloth are connected. Those crotches are. Yeah. They're all one... It's one entire piece. Can't tell if Peach didn't hear my dirty joke or just ignored it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is the mystery of Peach. <laughs> No, I don't drop those super often. No, you don't. It's true. And if you don't show proper appreciation, who knows what will happen? Probably, who knows? probably won't have any more. I think his knees are actually in like armor, so yeah. Mm. Your knees are kind of just bone armor, aren't they? I mean, they're yeah, that's why you want that's why you want people to hit you in the knees as often as possible. <laughs> I'm trying to deflect blows into your knees. <laughs> the most scarab-like part of the body, yeah. No, I've seen Star Trek. Yeah. Martial arts courses. I've been doing this for five minutes. I'm not the best at it. This sucks. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of having the same opinion. It is a skill. Mm-hmm. You're telling me. I always had an idea that it's like you go to a genie and you're like, I want to be the best at this thing. You're like, all right, all you have to do, your wish is granted, but you need to do it every day for two years. Mm. Oh. And then at the end, you'll be the best in the world. And you're like, wait a second. <laughs> That's when you're hey. hours. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. You're telling me that if I just do it every day, I'll be good at it? That's horseshit. I want to be good at it now. I think that if I had to ask a genie for anything, I think it would be ensure that I have the willpower to actually get better at stuff. <laughs> Install in my brain a method so that I don't give up on things when they get too hard. Because mm. then I don't know how he screws me out of that. Uh, have, ever heard of hyperfocus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, fair, fair, fair. It's the only thing you're going to ever be and do. Oh, the genie. Oh. Uh. Why did you say it like that? <laughs> Curses the genie. Oh, the genie. Oh. <laughs> He's busy writing erotic Robin Williams fan fiction. It's gotta be like the one fun thing that genies have is the like twisting other people's uh, wishes. Mm. Mm -hmm. They probably all like meet up and talk about like the nastiest thing they did. I mean, one of the best X Files episodes is still the one with the genie. I thought X Files was more sci fi. I mean, or sci -fi? they did all kinds of different things, um, but in one episode, a bunch of hillbillies find a genie in a rug, <laughs> and <laughs> one of them asks her to make him able to turn invisible when he wants, and she says, so you can sneak into women's change rooms, and he's like, no, mm. no, so I can, and he's got nothing, uh. <laughs> so she's like, okay, fine, sure, whatever makes him able to turn invisible whenever he wants. So he turns invisible and you see his clothes flitting around and you see his clothes fly off. Mm -hmm. And he runs runs out into the street and immediately gets hit by a semi-truck. Right, yeah. Cut to commercial. And when they come back from commercial, there's just a bunch of flies buzzing around a divot in the ground. <laughs> and a kid hits it on the bike and goes flying off. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that show is kind of funny. <laughs> um... And at one point, they, the genie tells them how they how she wound up in the 
in the rug. Mm. And it was because she found a genie and asked for, like, I forget what her first wish was, but her second wish was for a magic sack that never ran out of turnips. <laughs> and yeah, her right. third wish sure. was for wealth and power. Right. right. And that was how... That's how they get you. Yeah. I guess you can sell the turnips. Yeah. I didn't well, think I mean, she was a French peasant from, like, the 12th century. Oh, well, that changes. I didn't think genies were particularly like rich. She was like, you know, it's 2020, or it's 2015, or something, hmm. or 2000. I guess it would be... Like 1990. It'd be 97 or something. Yeah. It's 1997. Yeah. You're like, I want a bag that never runs out of turnips. Really? Okay. Okay. Well, okay. I really like turnips. Yeah. I never have to go grocery shopping again. Then you become a turnip person. Yeah, and as it turns out, you just keep getting calls from your family who are like, hey, I, uh, I could use some turnips. <laughs> I remember this one episode of The Outer Limits that scarred me. When I was oh. oh, do tell. There's an episode where there was like a some kid, and he could like bring things from a picture mm -hmm. to like he could materialize it. Right. right. And I can't remember even what happened in the episode, but at one point, he is like how he lives. He's like a kid that lives with like his grandparents or something. Mm -hmm. At one point, he's like. And he said bring, but like in a real creepy way, you know, he's like bring, you know, to right. the picture. Right. And he did it to a heart and killed his grandparents. Ooh. Yeah. And I just remember that part. I don't actually remember the rest of the episode, but there was just that moment. I remember like Outer Limits had a semi recurring science fiction story it would come back to every once in a while where humanity was getting its ass kicked by aliens. Ah. Mm -hmm. And the first one was set in like an alien prison camp where this guy was like talking about, you know, how he had been captured during this battle. And the third one was, as it turns out, the aliens were shapeshifters. Hmm. <gasps> like a scroll? Yeah, kind of. Well, they owe Marvel five bucks. Well, I mean, like, luckily Marvel will never do anything with a scroll plot line. Their asses, Cameron. <laughs> so was it more of a like, oh, you told me a bunch of things because we're all in the I was shape shifting and being a dude yeah, in the, you know, yeah, okay. And as it turns out, he gives away the location of the secret human fleet, um, and then the next time they come back to it, it's like after that fleet has been destroyed and they're on this like the last human ship, kind of trying to do a Halo thing, mm. where they've got like a super weapon that they had developed. And as it turns out, one of the surviving crew members is an alien. <gasps> and they turn the eight, they disable the ship. Or like the, the ship gets like boarded and disabled. And the human crew are able to like turn it around and get it back under power. And they're doing like a charge of the light brigade thing to deploy the weapon against the alien homeworld. But they turn it on Earth instead. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're watching Secret Invasion and of course, the scroll leader has like a plan to like inject something into scrolls and the machine. I'm like, oh, they're doing super scroll. And then one of the guys is like, they'll be like, we'll have super scrolls. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, wow, how'd you call that? <laughs> I was alive in the 90s. He's never been impressed with my, my moral knowledge no. before. Did you like no sell him on it? No. <laughs> no. It's like, I don't know, I'm the Disney whisperer. <laughs> but just, they, they out loud said Super Scrolls. I'm just like, mm, mm -hmm. It's like playing the, you know the League of Legends RPG that they made a little while ago? It's like oh, a, oh. they made like a standalone like League of Legends, yeah. like traditional okay. RPG. Oh, oh like okay. A three, you got three people in your party. Okay. And there's yeah. a character in League of Legends lore named Gangplank. But that's like his name. So it's like they have these really dramatic moments where like, my husband, Gangplank. And you're like, bro, I can't. Doesn't Gangplank have like a fucking Christian name? You yeah. Know? Like Steven? Can you just call him Steve? Why do they, why do they call you Gangplank? Yeah. Why does your wife call you <laughs> Gangplank? Gangplank? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know. it's, it's for the cannon on his arm, you know. I, 
watched Arcane. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it was, you know, it was actually fairly decent, right? It's pretty good. It's yeah. supposed to be yeah. fun. Um, and I really enjoyed everyone else who watched Arcane was like, oh man, this is really good. I should play League of Legends ag again. I haven't played it since I was like 15. Mm -hmm. And just <laughs> opening League of Legends, immediately being called every slur. <laughs> I mean, the real tech is you just mute all the chat. Mute, mute all chat? Yep. Oh, yeah. Every game. Of anything, really. But my free speech absolutism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, that's the thing. If you mute, mute chat, you can still talk. Just no one can hear you. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Neat. To be fair, League has done a pretty good job. Well, not, I shouldn't say good job, but they are trying to clean up the, the community. Hmm. Yeah, we, we, we've done a few stories on Checkpoint where they've said how Riot like employed psychologists, not in that creepy way where it's like, how do we get people to play the game more, but like in that way where it's like, how do we get people to stop being shitty, mm -hmm. or how do we disincentivize shitty behavior? Mm -hmm. And uh, they've actually been pretty successful at driving a lot of that down. Really? Yeah, but of course that I find it interesting that I'm like, the, there's still the predominant attitude that it's not enough. Mm -hmm. So there must be just either a lot of jerks still yeah, playing or just the jerks are just the loudest. If I'm gonna add green to this purple, is that gonna be possible? Or is it gonna be yeah. hard? Uh, no, so if I just blend, blend over the parts of like, yeah. What you would like, want to do is blend first, right? So you would add the green that you're going to use. Now? Oh fuck, well I don't know where I wanna put it. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. What, what you do is you put down like, if you want kind of like that green to purple shimmer. Yeah. Yeah, what you do is base paint with purple. green, or with purple. Yeah. Um, so if I paint this like, all purple and then I can just add shit, that's yeah. what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that will work. Dude, there's too much going on. I can't tell what's the robe and what's a fucking tentacle. Pretty sure that's a tag on AO3. What the fuck is AO3? Archive of our own fanfiction site. Oh, uh, okay. Currently. Wow, I actually got a straight answer immediately. <laughs> I thought you <laughs> were taking the go, piss. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 I don't know. Usually people go, oh, honey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my sweet summer like, child. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my sweet summer child. Yeah. Like, I know chat's already going to do that, so mm -hmm. I don't have to. Mm hmm. I think as the painter, you get to decide what's robe and what's tentacle. Accurate. Like. You just yeah, but then aren't the fucking paint police gonna come after me? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. No? We don't let them in the building. Are you sure, Paul, this isn't just you working for the paint police telling <gasps> me it's gonna be okay and then... Entrapment? Next thing I know, oh. wee -oo, wee -oo. Paint entrapment? Nice thick coating of green. Mm. I already called green, you can't use it. So I'm just gonna put little dots in places. So I won't use a lot of green, just a tiny bit. Wait, your guy's like green speckled? No, he's just got a green on his belt somewhere. And so I thought you were gonna say butt. Green on his butt. Green, green on his butt. butt. I feel safe as to <laughs> and but what was that anime that you really liked beach with the rock people uh land of the lustrous or yeah it was hoseki no kuni oh the land of the lustrous yeah, yeah. it's about oh, the, one with the dinosaurs yeah. the gems oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. both gems they're um yeah they're they're a gender they're very heavily Which coded gender? A gender. Yeah. Yeah, but which one? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, one. A, 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 a gender. The A one. Yeah. A O three one. They're at least yep. they're at least Definitely a gender the until they one. until they like go to the moon, in which case then some of them start to take on gender roles. Mm. But gender go up. Yeah. Go to the moon. <laughs> go to the moon. Gotta go to the moon. Get your get gender. gender. Still waiting on the last few chapters. They. <laughs> Where are the rest of them? On the moon. I don't want to go all the way to the. The moon has the best selection. Is that why they hodled? <laughs> <laughs> I 
we did a story today about Sega doing NFTs, mm. which would not have been a, a story for much reason at all, except for the fact that um, in 2021 they said they weren't, and then, or in 2021 they say they were, but then a month later on a earnings call, all the C-suite was like, actually we might not because we'd like to be convinced that it's not going to be anything. Like we, if it's just to make money, then we don't want to do it. Mm. And then a week after that, they, they registered a Sega NFT trademark in Japan. Mm -hmm. And so then, like, months later, they're like, oh, but we're not actually going to do something. And then, and then they, a, a month after that, they're like, oh, but we're going to actually do a thing. We're going to make super games that are, like, the next generation of gaming. Oh, and then they said, but we're not going to do anything now because that wouldn't be fun. What would be the point? Again, this is another C-suite executive. That would, what would be the point in doing it? It's, it's only worthwhile making a game if it's fun. Like, why would you put stuff in it? And then, like, three days later, they licensed a franchise to an NFT gaming company. Oh, great. And it's just like, can you guys not, like, make up your minds about what's going on here? No. No, clearly not. It's, it's all about money. Well, I mean, really it is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you blame them? No, I can't blame them. Like, I get it. <laughs> Yeah. Nobody else is playing Alex Kidd these days, so I guess you got to license it to a Web3 gaming scam. I hate to break it to you, Steve. Or Steve. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, Steve. Steve Beach? Steve Beach? But nobody gives a fuck about Alex Kidd in 2023. It's I'll tell you true. that much. You can hold on to that hope, but brother, that ship is dead. Okay? <laughs> no one, no one's out here being like... Maybe uh, on AO3 it's a ship. You can look on there. <laughs> Maybe they're proclaiming their love for, for Alex Kidd in other forums. Yeah. You don't see petitions being like, bring back Alex Kidd. <laughs> Get my rock, paper, scissors on. I mean, you didn't, but maybe now. Oh, well, maybe now. So mm. This will be where it starts. Yeah, Alex Kidd is no Snow War Kids. It's true, actually. Yeah, that's, that was a bad idea. I made a big mistake. No, you didn't. Somebody say steak. Well, might as well even it out by doing the other side. Yep, perfect. Okay, that looks intentional. What color do you think I should make the clothes? Are you elementalist? Oh, good Every point. Color. Um, you think I should give my elementalist a rainbow color jacket? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw them down a well? That's good. I was thinking like teal or like ice blue. Why would you throw them down a well? Didn't he get thrown down a well by his brothers? Who, Jesus? No. It's like Jonah? The That's Technicolor the Dreamcoat guy? Joseph. Guy? Joseph. The Technicolor Dreamcoat guy? Yeah. He got thrown down a well. I've never actually seen the play. So. Yeah. Yes. His brothers push him down a well because they don't like how much attention he's getting from dad and then they sell him into slavery. Yeah. And wow, then, that's a reasonable uh, And then later response. he comes back and he's got this cool jacket. Yeah. Look, it's no, been a while he, since I've got to church. He got given the cool jacket by his dad yeah. and his brothers tore it to pieces. Mm. Mm. I thought he got another one later. No. It's a weird Bible story. Most it's a of them pretty are, normal actually. Bible story. Yeah, it's pretty tame by Bible standards, actually. The moral of the story is uh, don't wear brightly colored clothes. Don't let all, your brother show you this cool well. All, the moral of the story is always get revenge. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, there we go. Well, yeah, his revenge is that he fed his entire family and they had to pay him for the stored grain. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a uh, success in business. That'll show them. <laughs> you see, kids, earning. It's the way. I mean, I guess I'm just thinking of mm. Jonah because he also kind of gets a real shit thing going on for his the whale thing. thing. His his whole thing is uh, all of his family dies and and everything's bad. And then he gets eaten by a whale essentially yeah. for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, because, and, God, give me something and, nice in my life. And it's, so just, your it's day. just. It, and God's doing this to him <laughs> as like uh, a bet with like the devil or something. That's well, it's Joe because like about he's how he won't he that's, won't that, that's forsake Joe. him. I, I, yeah, I thought um, Jonah's story was that he um, was ordered to, to preach, preach in and Nineveh, he wouldn't, and then went there and it sucked, and he didn't want to. <laughs> yep. Yeah, fair. And then he tried to get away by booking a ship. Yep. To and then there was a big storm, and the sailors were like, "Okay, this guy's bad news," and they tossed him overboard. Yeah. And was eaten by a whale. Oh, okay. They threw him overboard because yeah, I guess thought I'm, he was I'm bad guessing, luck. I guess I'm conflating a few things. Yeah, Job is the guy who. Yeah. But like um, Moby Dick, actually, the I don't there's that a Bible scene. Story. There's a scene in which he goes to church, 
and the preacher is telling the story about is telling the story of Jonah and the whale to a bunch of like terrified sailors. Good. Yeah. That's what you should do. I tell you what, I don't think I would have lasted thirty seconds in fucking eleven diggity one when everyone's like goddamn superstitious and shit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. look how tall he is, he's bad luck, they just throw me off the fucking ship for no reason. Like what? Yeah. This is like negative dignity. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like, but I can do a drive rush. What the fuck is that? All right, Beej, that's enough for you. <laughs> You're cut off. <laughs> I can do drive rush. Look at my wake up moves. No, both of you are cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, they're so <laughs> strong. Look, I can just juggle this guy against the corner and counter him. All right, so, great. For as it said, uh, hold no boshies above me. That's, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's in the commandments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. I like blue. I'll find a blue. <laughs> Shit. How hard is it to put white over top of purple? Because I got a purple spot on the part that I wanted white. Um... You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in you. That was the most <laughs> least confident you can do it I've ever heard. Oh, and I've heard some pretty unconfident ones in my lifetime, Cameron. No, it's possible. It'll just take a bit of work or a bit of layering. I'm millennial. I quit. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I'm Should have blue. used your genie wishes better. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Ultramarine. Sure. Great. I've got lots of blues. Do you want like fallow blue? I just want to be given a blue. There you go. Okay, I'll lose that one. Yeah, I can't tell what's what on this. I don't know how people do this. But you're doing it. They pluck out a single eyelash. Yeah. And they 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 dip it in an inkwell. I guess that is a. Has right. to be his arm, right? Cameron, how do I not waste all your null? Uh, just dip your brush into it. Okay. Yeah. A completely clean brush. E please. Into yes. the lid. Into the lid. The little, see that lid? Little, little lip there. Yep. Yeah. Also, Ma is the rest of the paint on your thing dry? I don't know. You're going to want to wait for the paint to dry. Well, I guess you... we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate catching me in time. Anyway, this is... Ooh, let's see a close-up of the lad. Yeah, that's not bad. Also, that looks quite good. Still some gray. Very blurry. Yeah. yeah. How about we push him in the focus spot? Um, where is the focus spot? It looks like a Ray Harryhausen fucking monster. Like that? Oh, I think it looks quite good. That is not bad. Mm -hmm. He'll be very, uh, he'll be very recognizable. Yeah, he does have a Harryhausen-ish mm -hmm. look to him. Yeah. I'm nice, Greg. Is that what nice Greg sounds like? The you ever seen that sketch, do. old Greg? No. Oh. oh. By the uh, mighty Boosh. Yeah. yeah. Old Greg. I had a coworker that was fucking obsessed with that goddamn sketch and said, "I'm old Greg," like all the time, like once a day. Oh, uh, just. I was like, brother, I never want to hear oh, I'm old Greg ever again. <laughs> you are cut off. I've been kind of obsessed with Corn Cob TV from um, I Think You Should Leave recently. I haven't seen them all yet. All it's from ones. season two. It's from season two, yeah. What's the one with the baby that doesn't have farts in it anymore? I don't remember. It's from season two, I think. I've just been kind of like dropping in and out. Mm. It's hard to watch. <laughs> so, Beach, mm -hmm. when are you gonna do your anime roundup? Oh, we got we have um, internet in the moon base now. That's what, that's what we've heard, yes. Holy shit, so, we have internet in the moon base? 
Yeah. How, haven't you been doing it from home in the past couple? Yeah, times? but I wanted to. I wanted to have a reason to do a stream from the moon base. Um, just me to enjoy Studio A on my own. Uh, and to like group back. And kind of just like get yeah feel comfortable in the new space before I do a, my piff. So I thought that would be a, a good way. It's like I don't have to have a, I don't have, to have the game thing working. I don't have to have sound working from a game. I don't have, to have any of the other like weird little things. It's like I just have to think about talking, talking, and being on camera, and just having a, a web browser open, and that's it. I'm like that's probably a good way to get get going with uh, being in Studio A. Are Are you due for a? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, the weeks. new the new season's actually started. Yeah. So I will. Um, I will. I will send a thing to James to see if I can't get it in on uh, Saturday or Sunday. Okay. Yeah, that's the expectation anyway. And I think we're talking about doing a piff. Um, I think I probably I might start my piff next week. Think, we'll see. Yeah, I think you're due to start up next week. Yeah. You're, are you revealing the game yet, or is do, that a spoiler? Do you want to tell, that's you want to tell people what the game is? No. Dark Cloud Two. Because the moment I tell everybody, I, I can't you change can't my take mind. It back. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I thought you well, bought I mean, it already. No, I haven't. Oh. Okay. New season. So yeah, Tarkov, right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone, close your cover your ears, Beach. Tell me what game it is. I'll just show you. Yeah. It's show anime them. related. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's the Yakuza Fist of the North Star. <laughs> Genshin Impact. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like you get angry in that game. Let's see, where's my list? That's the fastest way to bring it up. Genshin second. Genshin third. Third impact. <laughs> It doesn't look like anything to me. <laughs> what? I missed it. What's this fucking... <laughs> All right, Paige, come jab on. jab ass name? Yeah, what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good choice. Whoa. Yeah. I think it'll be fun. All right, chat, did you, did you freeze the frame and then enhance on the reflection in the mirror or something? Oh, it looks cute. Yeah, it should be. It's pretty chill. Well, spoilers. Oh. So, be just playing Dark Souls three. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an advanced copy of Armored Core Dude, six. Dark Souls three is an actual fucking banger, though. Yeah. Yeah, I just Although can't you picture Beach playing it. You should no. start with Sekiro though to really build up your skills. <laughs> right. Where does Bloodborne land? Uh, Bloodborne is. After watching Ben through play it again, I think I need. I need. I don't know. Uh, that's hard. Upset. I think Bloodborne's pretty low on the list. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, I don't think that game holds up, but that's just a personal thing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure there's lots of people that hold it very high, but I do not. Just for the Switch weapons alone. Okay, for a person who's never played, which one of the series do you start with? Oh, three. Yeah, I three's think. not bad. Three's great. I mean, yeah. Elden Ring. Or, yeah, you just Frankly. start with Elden Ring. Actually. Yeah, yeah, Elden Ring might be the best place to start three because is a where they've though. got it, like. I mean, I also my opinion doesn't really hold any weight because I think two is one of the best ones, and nobody nobody, nobody thinks else. two is no. the, nobody thinks two is one of the best ones. But I know that's just my lot in life. Hey, we all we all have our favorites, right? Yeah. They don't have to match everybody else's. music fall. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's wrong? <laughs> no, do, 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 yeah. do, do. I mean, he could take us to the club. Oh, we got some club bangers? <laughs> the banjo club? <laughs> I don't know if we have all, of, I don't know if we have any lighting set up actually uh, for the club, but also that would make it very hard to paint. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't really want to promote flickering lights. On a chill stream. Mm -hmm. It's just that just seems mean to the viewers. Oh. 
I prefer to be mean to them in subtle sort of ways that suggest I might have been nice at one point. You get some producer cut-ins on this music, you know. Grab your paints. <laughs> <laughs> I get thin your paints actually would be would be better. DJ Khaled. <laughs> See, the newest DJ Cummerbund is Hips Don't Lie and the Kids Are All Right. Ooh. <laughs> it's not the worst thing to listen to. I am curious, uh, now that chat has seen Studio C, or at least a piece of it, because um, you've also been seeing the updates, I'm sure we've been posting little pictures and stuff. Graham has been posting little I don't pictures, I think, here and there. Watch your Instagram. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know, what, know what's in it up there. Um, does it? Does it? How does it feel to you when you see it? I mean, they've seen this through Tap Tap Conceit. That's true. Actually, right. We would have recorded here. We recorded Tap Tap Conceit. The same. Some people yeah. can't tell the difference. That's good. Which I think is part of the point. So mm -hmm. yeah, we're winning when that happens. That's true. That's very true. Yeah, it's supposed to, you know, be better while offering the feel of continuity. Yeah. I mean, you're all telling me what, what you think it looks like. I want to know what, what you feel. What if we told you that we're just back in the old office right now? This is where we had functioning internet. <laughs> Thanks for buying all the promo gear, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> Made a killing. We didn't even have to move. This is green screen. Yeah. <laughs> Pulls over the bookshelf on top of myself. <laughs> Just a Fallout Four wasteland behind <laughs> us. <laughs> this is actually a delayed broadcast from next week. Yeah. Good luck. There is no fridge yet. You want to know what's in the fridge? Someone sent me a fax of their furry holding a gun, saying, "Tell us what's in the fridge, Wayne." <laughs> you want to know what's in the fridge? There is no fridge. I oh I yeah. I use that now as an example to tell people it's like that's what it means to have no depth perception. Yeah. <laughs> if you wonder what it's like, that's what it's like. That shit. Anything could be a cardboard cutout mm -hmm. fridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you won't know until you really examine it. There's a handful of things that live right free in my brain. That is one of them. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Currently, I probably think about that at least once every couple days. Mine is mine currently is that one video of the weird like like furry animal. How clean do I have to make this before I start the drawing that wants to kiss boys? It's, should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I have not heard of that. There's like a TikTok where he's like talking to this like larger dragon or something. Maybe I'm thinking of two different things, but green. I need like a lime green. A lime green? Yeah. Green, like a brighter green, not like um, a deep forest green, but like, yeah, brother. I think they're supposed to be an envy. Okay. Yeah. Because they're talking about confusing the the larger dragon because the dragon doesn't know if 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 the dragon doesn't know whether to kiss this person or not. Kiss the so, girl. So the smaller envy furry thing is like teasing the larger dragon about uh -huh. it. Yeah. It's good. Good. I think, good story. He goes, come here, sweet cheeks. Mm. At one point, it's like, it gets me every time. I'm just like, that's really cute. And I don't know what's happening. Mm. Last time I heard the word sweet cheeks, I punched a person. <laughs> Was it Beach? No. Oh. I know better. Oh, yeah, you're right. You cannot kill me in a way that matters. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Oh, that's such unparalleled. A I had a friend who, like, I've, I've heard the suggestion that Watsi needs to find whoever wrote that and license that text and make a secret lair oh. for, um, Just like, mushrooms. Mushroom-themed cards. Yeah. That yeah. all use that flavor text. Oh, there we go. It's a fox. Thank you. It, it's, it's a little fox. Little line drawing of a fox. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's got a bubble. Bloop. Don't want the bubble. Do you want to tease it out with my? No. <laughs> there. Good. Oh, wow, it's like a perfectly round little dot. For now. 
for now. That's surface tension. I'm gonna mix it with white though. Oh no. Now what is it, Beige? Oh, it's like a mess. Aww. It's a good looking blue though. Oh, that's a good looking blue. Milky. I'm almost, I'm practically done Tears of the Kingdom. I could just go do the, I mean, let's be honest, you could just start the game and go do the final fight according to the speedrunners, so. Yeah, probably. Yeah. No, I don't know that I'd want to do that. It's pretty scary in the underground. Mm. What about the rest of us mortals? Yeah, I don't want to do that either. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do everything and then go beat the game, so. And so far, I've avoided spoilers, which is great. You do get to the point where, you know, other characters are like, hey, yeah. uh, not to be a dick about it, but there is this whole thing that's going to destroy us all. That yeah. we, were, we were hoping that you could maybe deal with. You know, like, I still have so many Koroks to find. My, my response to that is always the same. It's always... To be fair, that's your response to like everything. Pretty like, much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, anytime anybody asks me something in game, that's kind of how I respond. So. so you want me to abandon the Koroks is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. wow. So they're fake. If, uh, still 480 of them still buried under rocks. and. What if I just went and did the shield surfing minigame first? Separated into... The shield surfing one's not bad. Is there a Korok at the end of the shield surfing thing? Uh, I mean, there's probably some from the island in the above. Yes. Oh yeah. I should consider that then. I know there's a shrine at the end of one of those things. Put down your teleport pad so you can redo it if you need to. Yeah. I've made a mess. I'm just gonna go further. And I'm doing my best to be uh, patient to wait until paint would dry sufficiently. You're probably okay, as right. long as it wasn't too wet. Okay. Why don't you take a look? Well, I touch his head and nothing comes off. So, Let me look. yeah, I think my child is okay. Turn it around. Yeah, you're fine. Great. That's how you can tell when your kid is done, is that when they pop out that you're like, hey, are you a problem? And then when you touch their head, if it caves in a little bit, then you don't want to touch them anymore in the head. I think you need to go back to school. No, that's the last place you should be. <laughs> Not a school with children. <laughs> Class all on his own. Separated off. Like an adult school? No, just a beach school. Oh my god, you're right, Cameron. This is liquid skill. Mm. Holy crap. Just kind of seeps into all the places where you want it to go. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Beach, it almost sounds like you're having fun. Oh. I'm getting results. Eh, potato, potato. I'm getting risotto. Ooh. You're going to share? No. I'm actually going to make a big bowl of it, not even take a bite, and just throw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> in front of everybody. Yeah. yeah, make sure you take a picture of your food for the gram. Fuck the gram. <gasps> <laughs> you didn't our, mean it. Not in our age of algorithms, you won't. Like how my seemingly unpopular opinion of Twitter is fine for the most part. Christ, I hate it when people like my stuff on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, folks. But I'm also like hyper aggressive with my timeline, so. That's better. That cleans up this dude's face. Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, I just block people on Twitter if their vibe is off. I return your oil to you. Thank you. 
Not all of it, though, I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Yeah, he looks better when he's, like, damp, slick with his enemy's viscera. Oh, hello. Is that a phone call? It is! He is busy. Wow. Dr. Feelbad needs to be slick with his allies' viscera in order to feel anything. Well, it's just not. With his allies? Mm-hmm. He's a doctor. As far as you know. I thought I thought doctors had to help everybody. Didn't mm -hmm. they take some sort of oath? No, not in this world. Mm -mm. Well, I actually have no idea what the ethical concerns of medics are in this world. I mean, given the concerns of, of our own ethics as a group, probably not much. That is that call was for one of those things that isn't immediate. It's a thing that can definitely wait. And those are my favorites. Mm. You know, eventually those become things that can't wait. It's true. Oh. I think all the air came out. What was that? Beach spring a leaf. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. It's just so much, like, there's just so much stress mm -hmm. I can finally leave my body. <laughs> it's kind of Along great. with your ghost. Mm -hmm. Is it like when you would finish on ex your last exam at the end of school? Mm, and you're like, my legacy is secure! And you're just like, I don't have to be anywhere. And your body's like, that's great, because we've been holding off three, four diseases yeah. for weeks now, and we're taking a break. <laughs> I, and you get both like the flu and bronchitis at once. So that never happened, but what I do, so I did lose an entire semester at mm -hmm. university that I don't remember doing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just lost mentally? Lost mentally. I, um, a year and a half after doing it, uh, I went in and, and uh, to the counselor's office because I was like, I need to get into this course because I'm trying to finish my degree and I'd like to finish it this year. And it's been six years. And they were like, you already took that course? Not only that, you already took these three courses. And, and I'm like, and when? You, and they and like, here. And they showed me when I took the them. And I was like, and I passed? They're like, you sure passed. And I'm like, okay. Well, I guess I should graduate then. I guess I'm ready to graduate this year. And they're like, yeah, you just got to do a couple more things. You only have to take three courses this semester. I'm like, even better. <sighs> Woohoo! Oh man, only needing to take three courses a semester? In, the, in my final semester, just the way it all kind of worked out. It was like, oh, you've already taken enough stuff that you just had to finish up three in the last one. I'm like, that's a good way. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quit the anime club while I'm at it and really just have a whole bunch of time to myself. Yeah. Now, when, I, when I found out I could be still technically a full-time student with three courses, I definitely took that route. I asked my partner... Uh, at 3 a.m. once, I woke my partner up during my last term of school and asked if they would still love me if I had to drop out of school. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. We were fucking going through it. Yeah. <laughs> What'd they say? They were like, what? Yes. <laughs> and then I finished the paper I was working on. Hey. I was like, okay, cool. Nice. Thank you. I'm going to go finish this. And then I did, and I got an A plus on it. Holy oh, nice. shit. Good for you. I did not get very many, uh, like, 90% in university. Mm. So the rare times when I did, it was like, I was like, hey, that was really good. That felt, that felt like I actually did something great. I, like I knew the subject matter. Yeah, yeah, well it always feels really good to just display command of something. <laughs> yes, you're right, absolutely. I, I probably told this story, maybe, I, I don't know. Um, when I took my television, radio, and new media course, which is a 400 level course, and I was, one of the guys in the class, he was taking it as a 500 level, so he was uh -huh. taking it as like a, a graduate, graduate course. course. Yeah. And we got, we just kind of paired up to do 
a presentation mm-hmm. on um, on Canadian media, mostly on CBC. Right. And uh, we were the first or the second one in the course to be doing that. And we got up there and we did that. And we traded off the presentation like as we were talking about things. Not not a thing of like one guy's running the projector and the other guy's actually talking. Right. It was like literally we were handing it back and forth a lot. And okay. the prof found it so casual, like just so kind of like you just really seem to know your stuff and you seem to bounce off each other very well. Mm-hmm. Um, so when, when the time came, he's like, hey, so Access Network, which is Canadian Learning Television, mm-hmm. also in, uh, in the province of Alberta, uh, they were doing a thing where they're like, uh, they do a, they show movies on on CLT all the time. Do you uh, do do people in the classroom as like a way to get bonus credit or something? It was is like I, we, I want you to write bumpers for these shows talking about concepts in media because oh okay cool. we're exploring concepts in media right now. So I want you to everyone if everyone wants to take part and everyone was like yeah we'll do that. So people paired up and he and I paired up again and based on what they. Did for us, like we went to the studios, they did our makeup, they did everything else, and then we did our, our bits. Based on that, um, they contacted him back and said, "Could you get the two of them to come back and do a few more because those were really good, and those two guys were really good together." Cool. So we came in and did more for them, to the point where they were like, because it's you know it's public television, but it's like provincial public television, like it's actually professional. Right, right. It, get, it has a bit of money. Exactly. And it just kind of, it sounded like, especially the way our prof was talking, he's like, N- they've never really asked us about that, but like to have people come back and do more things. Hmm. They might actually want you guys to do this way more often. Would you be keen to do that? And we were like, I, I suppose. Cool. If they come to us. No, they never did, but it was like, there was, I guess the producer was really thinking about that kind of thing. Hmm. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad you had like a prof who was advocating for you, mm-hmm. looking for opportunities for you. Yeah, he was, and I think he was my the only nine I got in in, in university the entire time. We were on stay nine, so nine mm-hmm. is the highest, and it's the only nine mm-hmm. I think I ever got in a course. And I was didn't feel like I was even trying that hard. I just happened to find a good partner that we really gelled with, and we could work together really well. And it didn't feel like work then, right? It just felt like yeah, we were just yeah. learning stuff and throwing it out there, and yeah. Did we want to take a break? Sure. Okay, we're taking a break now. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go See to commercial. You in five. We'll be right back. Cycle your fluids. Welcome back, you rattlesnakes. I don't know. Is that a better one? I like it. It's a start. It's is it start? Confusing. I mean, rattlesnakes are kind of cool, though. Oh, is that too cool? Yeah. Gar- garter snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Garter you, snakes. You rat snakes. Welcome back, you elite night demons. <laughs> Toothless wolves. Ooh. 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 Old wolves. <laughs> Welcome back, the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bonus stream. We are painting our Gloomhaven minifigs. The end. Yeah, the two of us already have, uh, have some results to show you. Oh, yeah. result. Well, I'm still working on that a little bit, but I thought I'd let it dry. I really like your 1970s disco outfit. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. Strong I just decided blue. to make certain details not exist anymore. <laughs> it's just all jacket now. Where are our retired characters? In the box. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so somewhere in there. Okay. As long as they're happy, feeling loved. You should have tried dip dyeing them. I guess your, your character, uh, Retired first, huh? Yeah. So none of the current characters ever met them? No. So it'll be surprised when they come back. <laughs> I think we've actually encountered both of her, like, cards. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. She knows no one in this group. Mariah Carey <sighs> dog gif. I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know her. Because there is more time to go on this stream, uh-huh. yes. I I keep feeling like I should pick my guy back up and do more things to it. But I also worry that if I do that, I'm just going to like end up with just the Prince Adam face. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 
the dude who was like painting uh, his own little figurines, and it's like got beautiful camera work, but the painting is just the sloppiest shit you've ever seen. And he gave the dude like big, like like the Prince Valiant haircut, mm-hmm. mm. so big blonde Prince Valiant haircut, and he gave him like the weird like misshaped like mispointed eyes, whatever you want to call them, but it's like. They're all like bloop, off in like weird directions, and it's just the messiest looking thing. And yeah, I'm like, okay. I feel like if I keep touching my guy with paint, he's just going to get you could, layers. You could you could paint the side of the base. Mm-hmm. Uh, Beach, can you uh, just adjust your microphone? Is just kind of rubbing on your uh, shirt a little. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna mute you so oh, you no, can adjust sure, it. Sure. Yeah, that, that makes better you sense. Just, you just, you look like, oh no, bomb on my shirt. Time to diffuse the bomb. I think it's, I think it's probably fine. I don't know. It should, it should be fine. It's better. Oh my goodness. Mm, it still looks a little wet. Beige even does weddings. <laughs> Wettings? Wet. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that was good improv instincts, yes. <laughs> There's my bottle. He has a baby. Mm-hmm. Baby needs his bottle. From here, Adam looks like he's making the hot goblin. Oh, yeah, you have some very, yeah, the green and purple kind of. Mm-hmm. I guess it's just the green goblin. There's two goblins. There are two goblins. Oh, goblin's orange. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Heather. <laughs> you don't like that. I was saying the whole goblin's orange. Yeah, it's Stating camera. a fact. Yeah, Cam, choose your next words very carefully. <laughs> when have I ever done that? <laughs> the time you got an A? That's just natural. Yeah, brother. You're gonna have to wash that cup afterwards. I'm doing my best to kind of clean those things off right now. In fact, there's a bunch of stuck paint on the edge. Luckily, it's acrylic, so it'll come right off. It will come off. Play now, my lord. <laughs> wow. You, you getting those vibes from the music? <laughs> sure am. Ebony? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think it's now I think it's now one of those games where you have to pull the lever and make the gold not fall in the lava. Mm-hmm. I think it's one of those games now. On the mobile ones, yeah. Yeah. Don't those look nothing like the game that they advertise? I think they... Usually they've got like a level or something that's like the thing like that they're showing off, but it's like a white area. and maybe like a gray too. Yep. Gardenscapes ended up, I think, making a version of that game because they were they had used it to advertise something. Mm-hmm. Nobody has a goddamn clue what Merge Manor is doing these days. So hmm. uh, they're they're hopefully paying some really interesting people to make their commercials. Mm-hmm. Beyond that, I don't care. Yeah. Merge Mansion. Yeah, it's Merge, Merge Mansion. Mansion. Except in the UK when it's where it's Merge Manor or something, I'm sure. I don't know that they do that or not. Mm. <sighs> You're such a klutz. It's very restful seeing deaf people do things. I don't think, aside from, I mean, from personally, I don't think. Uh, Anything I'm doing right now is incredibly deaf. I can't speak for the rest of the table, though. Oh, I heard deaf. Yeah. And I was very confused. Yeah, most deaf. Deaf painting jam. I mean, I'm just faking it. And it's working, I think. I still don't know how I got all this paint on my hands. I think that's normal. I swear I didn't touch any of it. We see uh, Nice Greg's backside. 
What? Right, the character, that's it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. He hasn't changed that loincloth in a year. Paul, you want to talk about that one or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paul, talk about Greg's uh, backside. Mm. It's supple and st yet sturdy. So it carries the team. What you doing, Beach? Well, if I. If I don't would. have to paint, I should keep my hands busy. Is there. Are you afraid of what will happen? Yeah, a little bit. You should be afraid too. I have no fear of you. Ooh. You about, have no power here, Beach. You're just a nice, slow pan. The cables are a little tight. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yep. We're all going on this journey together. Yeah, I don't like that yellow. Beeps. Went down. Let's bring it back up. They're not, uh, they're not inverted controls, Beach. <laughs> Who plays with inverted controls? Ian. Ian. If you do flight sims. <laughs> See? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I tend to play with inverted controls. Pull down like to go Like a shooter? Really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I get it. We I get were, it. Uh, I get it. It's... When we were playing Hi-Fi Rush and we would uh, swap uh, who, who was playing, we always had to go into the options and swap the controls. Airplane, like, flight simulator, I can kind of... I can kind yeah. of get, but but like if I'm playing games, like Star Fox or something, sure, I guess like, you get used to it, but but uh, run around action yep. game, not for me. Elden Ring, he does. No. Yes. Oh. Yeah. No. Any any th third person, definitely, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Oh. Man. Was it Final Fantasy Twelve that had inverted X? <laughs> Yeah, oh, right, yeah. And it was like permanently on. Rude. Square? How do you invert an X? Left becomes right and right becomes left? Yep. I've seen camera controls do that. Because you'd be like, I want the camera to pan left. So you're like, okay, well then what you want to do is you want to push the thing to the right. And the camera pans left. Why, why are you rudder steering the camera? <laughs> Apparently, our painting stream is too chill for me. Yeah, it's Studio really Thieves. Is. Yar har, yo ho ho. You want to give us some like rap video zoom ins? <laughs> it doesn't zoom in that far. Well, don't you need like a fisheye lens too? And you need to be like in a cheese grater. I think you're just not trying hard enough. We should use the rest of the studio to refilm the virtual insanity video. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Who gets to be Jamiroquai? The band is Jamiroquai. <laughs> <laughs> that, I just learned that this year. No. Yeah, I had no idea that the guy in Jamiroquai is just called like JK or something like that. Like he's it's just the dude. Jamiroquai is the whole band. I don't know if you can call yourself JK. How will people ever there, take you seriously? There was nobody else in the video, so we just thought that dude was Jamiroquai. Yeah. We all thought that. Yes! Yeah, definitely. 
We play Elite Beat Agents and Canned Heat, and it's attributed to Jamiroquai, the band. But no. No, we uh, all we all have one touchstone. Yeah. Where there's a single guy. Maybe maybe the rest of the band was the couches or I just, something. I, <laughs> I think they were outside pushing the thing around. <laughs> How pissed off would you be if you were in Jamiroquai? If you were the keyboardist in Jamiroquai. Yeah. Or the bass player. And, and they you just listen keep, to this stream? And they just call that guy Jamiroquai and you're like, like Man, no, I really want to watch somebody painting some figures. I'm going to find something nice and relaxing. Like, <laughs> click on us and imagine being the keyboardist in Jamiroquai. Hey! Single fucking I came here. here to have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Instead of being gaslit about not contributing anything to 1998 smash hit. Virtual insanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny is that whenever I, when I would picture that video in my brain, I would picture a camera at the end of the cheese grater, like in the, I think in the Puff Daddy uh, videos where it's like all the lighting and all the whatever, and then somebody did that picture where they're like, hey, check out this rap video, and it's like just a, it's just an inside shot of a really well lit cheese grater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like a box grater, and I was like. Oh, that's really funny, they kind of match. But for whatever reason in my brain, I was like, that's the Jamiroquai video where he's dancing inside that room. No, it is not, because I didn't pay attention to pop culture in the 2000s. I like the video, or the, the, the ads for, what was it, the London Symphony Orchestra? Uh, this is what we're working with. Where they had um, really oh, well-lit yeah. photos a... of the inside of, of a violin. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, hey. Is that the Hulk? Okay, nice. Adam? What? Did you give the Hulk a cloak? No. What do you, like when you think of bugs in video games, what colors do you think of? Purple and green. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, yeah, I'm like... Flick from a bug's life. <laughs> Teal. He's not in a video game. You don't, there's there's a Bugs Life video games. This picture video games. Yeah, but it's based on a video, so it doesn't count. You don't think of Woody Allen's character oh, yeah, from Ants? Yeah, I guess. Show the butt. No. One arm looks really good and yeah. the other arm looks a bit Is this his best side? Yeah. Well, I mean, I like how the right arm turned out. I do not like, because there's like a belt. Mm. But I need to like differentiate between the two and I need to figure that out. Because I don't know, the belt like is like attached to the arm. But the, and he's holding a mask and it's really hard to paint. <laughs> And his face is kind of scuffed, but... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So, he's holding a mask that he would normally have over his face. Yeah. Because he doesn't have a face. Because they need to show you that he's actually made of bugs. Right? Ah, okay. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, a mask will definitely help you not tell that there's a bunch of bugs under that coat. Barney? All right, well, I'm going home. <laughs> no. So you run, everybody. I like him. <laughs> Is it a Ronald Reagan mask, like in Point Break? God, what a movie. Which Point Break? Uh, Gross Point Blank. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> what happened to Mini Driver? What's the last thing I saw her in? It was after Phantom. Is she alive? Is she okay? I'm, she might have just retired. Or just Maybe. decided she was like, I've made a good amount of money and I don't have to do this shit anymore. Possibly, yeah. I swear I've seen her in a movie in like the last 10 years. Maybe she's doing theater. But I don't go to the theater. I know, right? If she was in something with James Gandolfini, then that would have been a little while ago. Hmm. But also with Eddie Izzard. Okay. Yeah, Mini Driver and Eddie Izzard were in a show where they were, um, like, traveler con artists. Oh, really? Cool. That sounds like fun. I was, because I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, well, Mini Driver's English, so she might have just gone back to England, back to England and been like, I can just be in, like... I did not think it was going to come out that fast. Oh, no, that's Let's fine. do, like, Stratford or something now if I want Brother, to. Brother, I'm pouring Pawn money out every time I do this, okay? It seems like a totally reasonable amount of paint. Do 
Don't give me that Bob Ross attitude. <laughs> Land base him, Cameron. Mm. Tear him asunder. Yeah, it's the only way I respond. Strip his ego to ribbons. Now you're making it sound like a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are ribbons and? involved. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, Look, I want to know what I'm getting eliminated. into here. <laughs> That's fair. You want that to be consensual. Hmm. I think I'm. I think I have. I think I have performed a sufficient paint on oh, on my guy. Sufficient paint. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I'm struck by inspiration, which has been nice, because when you guys put yours up as well, it's like, oh, they well, look like I, they belong. Yeah. Or like, what if I do this to mine? That's kind of oh. nice. I guess I should probably paint the base. Or at least fix the legs that are now blue. The installer for Tell Us Who Showed Up Today was just real excited to help. He was very nice. He was very That's nice. Good. It was so great. Cause, and I gave him such shit on the phone. I didn't give him that much shit on the phone, but I was like, I was not pleased <laughs> at the initial phone call that he was checking in with. We um, don't have to do that here. And because I was, I just kind of was like, ah, oh, snap, you know, the straw just breaks. You're like, what the fuck? And he, worked it all out and he got here and was able to make things happen but it was like and then he was just so nice about it I was like oh, no, I feel like a bit of a shit for maybe being a little too much but mm. beat yeah, too much a little too much but I mean yeah when I um, uh, when I I, I, had, I was out doing errands and grabbed Cameron to come here uh, when I got in and it's like we have, we have internet in the moon base and then Graham pointed to the server room and he's like and look he put it exactly where you want it, and I didn't even tell him where to put it. He just knew that's where it had to go. And I was like, oh, that's brilliant, that he just knew that that's like, this is the exact spot yeah. I wanted to have it in. And I'm like, that's a guy who really pays attention. Nice. Yeah. But as I learned also, um, that there aren't a ton of people. In fact, he's the only one in Victoria that actually does the business fiber hookups for TELUS. I thought you said the entire island. Is it the entire island? I think it's the entire oh, island. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay, yeah. That sounds like a very sustainable business practice. Yeah. Even Just in time installation. It sounds like job security to me. Because we had to have, we had a different guy come uh, to do our, try to do our install when they found out the cable was broken. The, the actual line in the street was broken. So, um, and then when that dude showed up and discovered that, that was a different guy that he said, I, they brought me in special from Vancouver to do this. And I'm like, oh, we're, aren't we, aren't we a fancy little company that we get special treatment? Good for us. So, so if fancy. only it worked. Mm -hmm. All right, well, here's how mine's going so far. Look. Fine. Look up, look way <laughs> up. I, I could pan it. I, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Jesus. I've yep. got a lot left to do, but... We all fit in here. Yeah. <laughs> sure do. It looks great. That wasn't quite the response I was hoping for. <laughs> but again, everyone's like, oh, well. well. Clearly you're not done. Jesus. Like, get, get, on, get finishing. I'm trying to be positive. It's because he's got that weird knob that he puts it in. Or his, 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 his <laughs> brushes are better. That's got to be the reason why. I got to buy a knob. If you stop whispering at me as if I'm going to agree with you, because I'm not. <laughs> I own a knob. I just forgot to bring it. Oh, really? It's oh, even uh, got sticky stuff. Can you pass me the white paint, please? Yeah. I, I like his big red beard. Mm. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> 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 Thank you for noticing. <laughs> and you're just painting Paul. Well, he's got a headband. <laughs> Paul, like put on Paul. your headband. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's known for wearing headbands. Get, get out your headband that you always wear when we're on stream, mm -hmm. that no one ever sees because you're never on camera. Yep. Paul, would you ever wear a fanny pack? <laughs> Around your head? <laughs> <laughs> Answer him! I, I, I'm not, like, morally opposed to a fanny pack. No? No. That's cool. We should point out to the UK followers. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're talking about ass bags. A waste bag. Yes. Not an imperative. No, Danny is. 
Fanny's in the front. <laughs> the, mm -hmm. Fanny's on nasty. Do you wear it in the back or do you wear it in the front? They wear it in the front. Or do, are you like one of those uh, uh, pictures I wear see? Wear a fanny pack like a backwards hat or what? Well, some people <laughs> like, do wear, it like shoulder bag. wear it like a shoulder bag or yeah. they'll wear it like in the front. A shoulder on, bag. Or yes. grab the waist. Fanny pack? No, this is my shoulder bag. Yeah, my sling pack. Yeah. 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 That sounds rugged, right? I'm a man now. I've only what? seen I have a small, I have a small purse across my body, but I'm called something different, so I'm a man. Like Jamie Tart what? from Ted Lasso. <laughs> They, weren't they looking for his Merce? Didn't they call it that at one point? I don't remember that. Because that was a Seinfeld thing, I remember. That they were talking, that was a term for a while. And then I thought they said that at ten, during Ted Lasso. I don't, I don't recall remember. that yeah. at all. All right. I think you're conflating a few things. Probably. Sometimes I'm tired at night. Are God. you? Yeah. If only. Have you tried sleeping? I do, about 10 minutes, and then I wake up and I'm good for the rest of the night. That's weird. Mm -hmm. no, it's, it's definitely how it happens. Mm -hmm. Wait, really? It tends to be if I'm like, yeah, like 10 o'clock or whatever, and I'm just starting to doze off on the couch. If I fall asleep for 10 minutes and I wake up, I'm like, oh, good, I can stay up now until 6 a.m. <laughs> and he's always happy about thing. that. It's not a good thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm -hmm. And you might ask, why don't you just go to sleep if you're tired at like 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. at night? It's like, oh, the answer to that is I haven't had dinner yet. Mm. Yeah. I'm still waiting for it. This is like if you give a beach a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> he eats for a day? <laughs> I hope not. A cookie's not. Well, how big is this cookie? Yeah, is it made of like lots of oats? Are you a Are horse? You a horse? <laughs> <laughs> what is. <laughs> A man eats oats. A horse and man. A woman a eats oats. A horse, a ho horse obeys. Yeah. It was the same inflection. <laughs> does, does not a man eat oats? Is not a man entitled to the oats of his labor? Mm -hmm. I wasn't asking what kind of cookie. I was asking how big the cookie was. Oh, yeah, okay, fair. Like yeah. a size of a cake. Oat size. <laughs> like a sheet cake? Like a half, or, or no, half a sheet cake. Or like a cupcake. Heather came home last night was like, I bought half a cake, and I was like, oh shit. Because <laughs> if you go to the store and you buy a half a sheet cake, it's this half, big. I'm aware. I half sheet cake. My and dad does to I me. I bought a yeah. responsible amount of cake. Yes, you bought half of a normal ass round cake. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was good. Normally, my response to that kind of thing would be, thank you. <laughs> right? Instead, yeah, it was just like... Why would you buy so much cake? It just seemed like a lot of cake, and then I realized... Yeah, you brought she's... me a geometry problem, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Which half? <laughs> the inside. <laughs> that's, that's, a really, that's a really laborious process, but probably a very satisfying cake. I mean, the question is, was it a full cake when you bought it, and then only half a cake made it home? <laughs> no. No, it was a... It was... I bought half like a cake. sheet cake? Like a... You know, like a rectangular cake. Rectangular cake. Yeah, fits in a baking shell. You know, mm -hmm. This explains it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know. It's also a very popular dance. <laughs> it's not popular anymore, Grandpa. Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Come on, let's dance. Do the yeah. sheet cake. Do the sheet cake. <laughs> Finally, learn the macarena. Yeah. The macaroon. Uh? The macaroon. Okay, macaron. A macaroon and a macaron aren't the same things, right? Nope. Nope. No. What? Yeah. They're different. Mm-hmm. Oh okay, Isn't one a macaroon like a coconut thing? One's yeah. A, yep. One's a cookie. And macaron is a little hamburger. Yep. <laughs> Wait, a Almond. coconut thing? Yeah. What? They're like, they they're like are. A, they're like little hamburgers. Like no, no. The hamburgers, I understand. I don't understand what the coconut thing is now. <laughs> Those are macaroons. Those are the little, like, piles yeah, but of, They're also like, called they're haystacks. Like, yeah, yeah, haystacks. Yeah. Little, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I know what that looks like now. They're yeah, like those are chocolatey, mm -hmm. chocolate coated coconut. Yeah, they look extremely normal. I like right. Them. No, I prefer the hamburgers. They come in many colors. They're cute. What? They do. Just 
It's colors like Fruit Loops. You call them a hamburger, and the only thing they have in common with a hamburger is the way they look. They don't taste anything like a hamburger. They have almost none of the same components. But could they? (laughs) Somebody made me a beef (laughs) macaroon. Uh, macaron. There we go. Thank you. Oh my god. What a beefy haystack. Go to McDonald's and order it. Brother, we keep talking like this. We're going to have macaron beef. Yeah, I'm going to go to McDonald's and order a McMacaron. I'm like, did you want macaroni on your Big Mac? What? <laughs> I call I call that options menu a mac uh, a hamburger too. Mm. And you know what? Most people understand that. Mm-hmm. It's a hamburger menu. Yes. Yeah. Oh, You're gonna start saying nice. that that's made macaron. out of beef. But that's McCain. a metaphor. And then people will, like give me a So McCain. is this one? This is a simile. Yeah, McCain. close enough. Isn't this Similes how we wound up with our metaphors? Wait, what? Isn't this how we wound up with a crescent roll? What do you mean? That's how they sold... Croissant? Yeah, croissants to Americans. Queuing it in three, two, one. Oh, no. They resisted. What? I mean, this... uh, What? The meme will show up on stream. The chat when I pronounce it. Croissant. I made, uh, on, on my Twitter handle, in the display name, I put a croissant and... Mm. A crescent mm-hmm. moon because I was just like, ha, crescent, croissant moon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now, if that tasted like an actual hamburger, Third Games has posted a hamburger macaron to the to the stream, and if that tasted like an actual hamburger, that's pretty good. Then we should have had those at our wedding. Why, why can it not be at your wedding if it didn't taste like a hamburger? What's the worst <laughs> the line? They had a hamburger themed <laughs> wedding, Adam. Did we? <laughs> Haven't you seen I the pictures? Remember, Look, that. Plato went over this in the Repu- book 10 of the Republic. If it looks like a macro, if it looks like a hamburger, yes. but it doesn't taste like it, it is failing in its responsibility to reality and must be banned. Yeah. I'm pretty this is why poets are liars. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Get my into it. You're like, what the hell? Yeah. This tastes like lavender. <laughs> yeah. Is this not like this is some Baudrillard shit, isn't this? Yeah. 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 There's no maps for these territories. So but, today but, I learned beef meets his food to taste exactly the way it looks, <laughs> and no other way, right? Yeah. 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 That's, that's exactly actually yeah. accurate. Yeah. 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 I mean, like, yeah, no, fair, actually. Like, we're all living in a heap of broken images right now. AI is going to <laughs> destroy. Like is engaged in a full-on war with epistemology. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what does anything mean? Uh, yeah, Beach. <laughs> You're the reason the Choco Taco isn't around anymore. <gasps> you got rid of the Choco Taco. They you so never good. had a Choco Taco. Doesn't oh, matter. Had one one she, time? she could have had one, oh. but you took that away from her. But all you need to do is imagine what it would have tasted like, because it looks the way it tastes. No, they don't though. They don't though. Don't they? No. What, what do they taste like? It's a taco. Like? It's an ice cream sandwich, but yeah. it's like a waffle cone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. like chocolate yeah. and ice cream, and there's chocolate on yeah, it. Yeah, but you know, that's it's just not a form factor you eat ice cream in. I can I don't know. I can adapt my mental of- model of a taco to include. A waffle cone and chocolate ice cream and chocolate and sprinkle why, on top. Why would you get rid of something that so delightfully rhymes? Okay, that's true. Why would yes. you do that? Yeah. That's, Are you that's... gonna get rid of Uncrustables next because they're nice oh, too? Oh well, you kind of. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think anything. Why that... would you get rid of Uncrustables? Because I don't like the word. Oh my! The, the title Jeez. is no good. <laughs> what? Actually, I don't, I don't like know what an Uncrustable term. is. It's a crustless sandwich. Yeah, it's oh. like a it's sandwich sealed? that someone made for you. But then they put it in a bag and sold it at the fucking store, and then you bought ten in a package it's rather than making when, a sandwich yeah, at home kind of, like a real person. When you have uh, a six-year-old yeah. and have given up on life, <laughs> you have just you are no longer able to fucking make anything yeah. work anymore. <laughs> and your six-year-old is like, "No, this sandwich has crust," and you're like, "You're yeah, right, fine." Fine. Wow. I'm going to outsource Bag this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to outsource this. The smuckers. They, the square ones that they sell at convenience stores in Japan that are like just peanut butter and they're the best goddamn oh, thing yeah, on the that planet. Good. That sounds yeah. pretty good actually. Do they, do yeah. they, okay I have to know though, do they crush the bread so that yeah. it's like completely flat? Yeah. Pretty much. Damn, yeah. okay. Like, yeah, like, so like, it's still bread. square though. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. It's PB and J ravioli. That actually sounds delicious. Now I just want a big bowl of ravioli with just peanut butter and jam inside. Oh, that'd be good. 
I'd be for that. Actually, you probably get I've sick been, of it. I mean, now we're having months. the same conversation again. That would fake me out. I would be freaked out. If I went and dug into a bowl I would of ravioli. be intimidated. It's just, just deep fried beef and shit. And like, you know, the, 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 it had what looked like marinara sauce, and it turned out to be raspberry jam. Yeah. Oh my God. And then the interior was all like peanut butter. Mm. That would work. <laughs> but it would fuck me up. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. You know, I'd be walking around like trying to interact with various objects, waiting for them to betray me in some yeah. way. Would you like to pet my dog? He's made of beef jerky. Soon, <laughs> eventually. If, I mean, any any animal really could be made out of beef jerky. Mm -hmm. so. It's like just, the, and just not know it yet. We're back to Japan again, where they have that show where they make the doorknobs out oh, of chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I just want we to go to Japan. It, you like I mean, Japan. literally, I do like Japan. crustless sandwiches. Like, you know Japan? I learned about from Japan. Do <laughs> you know Japan? Do you know Japan, mm -hmm. baby? Ra rather than a, a rather than a game show where you have to figure out what thing is made out of chocolate or whatever, uh -huh. I, I, I'm now imagining just the show is doorknobs or chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. A very short series. <laughs> I, I really want to see the other thing where they've taken a bunch of chocolate things that are no, or traditionally chocolate, and one of them is now made out of titanium. And the only way you can find out is by snapping into it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty good. All right. And one of the contestants does, and that's how we find out aliens walk among us. And that's when he finds out that his teeth are chocolate. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, I have to know now. What's everybody's biggest food crime? The biggest. Uh, like, I don't really consider anything a food crime. Though. I put ketchup on things. You know what I mean? Like I don't really like. I put jam on my croissants. Oh. Did I put soy sauce on my rice? Yeah. Like like dark soy sauce? Yeah. Or, okay. I uh, I put maple syrup beans into my tacos. Oh yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. There we that go. That was not. God, I like that. It's oh, so tasty. Uh, it's That's like the wrong kind of beans. Sickeningly mm -hmm. sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. I gotta make those for Ian again. When's his birthday? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have one. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Isn't it? Yeah, as soon as he found out, he, uh, or as soon as you made them for him once, he withdrew that information. Um, he just sucked it back up into his belly button and, and floated away. I still think uh, it's in, in a grilled cheese sandwich, having macaroni and cheese is pretty good. In grilled cheese. Yeah. Instead of the cheese. Oh, the cheese. okay. I don't think I have a food crime. Or there was that time I put macaroni and cheese with the rice. I mean, I eat kiwis with a skin on, but yeah. that's challenging for some people. Yes. Yeah, but I like, tried it. I, I don't. Really yeah, get I've tried it. it. It's but, good. Yeah. I've I've eaten strawberries with the, the Prefer, stem. I prefer making I do that them all the bowls. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I did that. I did that one thing uh, ages ago. Someone was. Uh, Your parents used to put banana, peanut butter, and mayo together. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's uh, weird. They could have just stopped. There was uh <laughs> there was stop a, the first two. Yeah. <laughs> there was a while back where uh Fugi said that there are people who mix the peanut butter and jam before spreading into the sandwich. Mm. And I tried that. I don't like that. Mm. I mean I could but see I, the ethos I, behind it. I can it. kinda I can get it. Yeah. I think this is the best this is getting. I don't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I did it justice, but... Cottage cheese tastes better when you blend it. Like, you kind of like whip it, or...? Yeah. Huh. Basically what? starts taking on the consistency of, uh, uh, like, frosting. Neat. Whip it, Jordan's? <laughs> cheese frosting. Not cream cheese frosting. Cheese frosting. Hmm. Like, like, cheese in a can. I was watching this YouTube video of this, like, Oh, cottage cheese is so good. I yeah, I, I like yeah, cottage, cottage cheese. cheese is just good on its own. Yeah, um, I will eat a whole thing of cottage cheese. Just, I will raw dog it, you. and I'll be like, that shit is good. I like to add salt. It's boring, but it's good. I have, like, cucumbers with mine. Um, fresh cracked pepper is nice. Mm. As a treat. <laughs> 
Seasoning is a treat. Mm. <laughs> Any uh, flavor is a treat, yeah. I've had, I've eaten a peanut butter and onion sandwich. It's fine. I've heard yeah, I'm, I'm pretty okay with it. It's not, it's not like going to be my go-to sandwich, but it's fine. I, it's better I toasted. do like pickled peanut butter. I don't know if I've done that one. I should give that one a shot. Yeah, it has to be um, like dill pickles and not like bread and butter pickles. So that mm. can work as well. Yeah, all right. You're watching a thing on YouTube, Cameron? Oh, yeah, it was just this video of like this guy who makes historical recipes. He looks vaguely like a Disney prince, and as it turns out, it was because he was one. Huh. Um, but he was doing okay, coronation I chicken. Much in this, so behold my shame. Uh, like, oh. oh, hey, nice, yeah. yeah. I like it. I don't like that belt, but I don't know what to do to it. And then there's the bag. That's good. I like the little extra green bits. I see what you mean about the cloak versus tentacles. Yeah, dude. It's like there's he's, no... Fucking... He's, a very, he's a very tentacly cloak. Yeah. <laughs> there's no different... There's no way to differentiate. Sorry, what was the chicken he was making? Uh, he was making Queen Elizabeth's coronation chicken. Ah. Um, you know, and it's... From the 1950s? Yeah. And it's a British recipe, so I was like, all right, buckle in. <laughs> And you know it calls for things like curry powder. Yep. Yep. Um, and then at one point he's like, "And a cup and a half of mayonnaise." <laughs> and I, I stop the video, yeah. close the browser. Raw mayo is kind of where I draw a line as far as like eating, like seeing people eat it and stuff like that. Like I like mayo just fine, but like man, if you're just scooping it, you know. Yeah, I did the desert bus challenge thing where. We're and like just having a spoon of it in your mouth is just impossible. Yeah. yeah. Doing that shot of maple syrup on the brown liquid roulette was very challenging. I mean, everyone could see it on my face. I'm sure how challenging it was because I was just like, I don't know what this is, but it is way too sweet. Mm. And I do not like having this, whatever this is going on in my mouth. It was bad. And then once I swallowed, I'm like, oh, it's maple syrup. Like I got it after I mm. drank it. And I was like, okay. But at the time, it's like, no, 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 no. Could have been oh, anything. I had a friend, a childhood friend, or like, I guess, a friend when I was in, like, in high school that loved milk and Pepsi together. Oh, Pilk. Yeah, oh, that's good. yeah, I've heard of that. Apparently, it's a thing. It is. I never tried it, but apparently it's a thing. What is it? Isn't that the, like, the virgin half of a, uh, uh, a paralyzer? paralyzer? Oh, for paralyzer, yeah. I thought a paralyzer was, oh, no, I'm thinking of a screwdriver. Never mind. Yeah. There's a, so I read an article, uh, uh, this woman had written uh, how back in uh, Pakistan that they make a drink that is Sprite and milk. Huh. And that is like the thing they used to break their fast, uh, I think during Ramadan? And it's incredibly refreshing, like it's really, really good. Huh. And uh, the, way, the way she was describing it was like, I actually want to give this a try now and see if it is as good as they say. So I thought fun COVID, apparently it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it. <laughs> yeah. Or why it doesn't curdle the milk. Mm. Huh. But it I, like, uh, I like getting a bunch of salted popcorn and eating it in combination with cherry blasters. Hmm. Oh yeah, gummy candy mixed oh, with, with popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. You know what my grandparents used to do? Mm. Fucking in the morning, black coffee, the most the f most torched, burnt toast you will ever see in your entire life, like black. Huh. And they would dunk it in the coffee and eat it that way. I feel Is like that I've a wartime heard of that. thing? Sorry? I think that's a wartime thing. Yeah. It cooks off and grand those grandparents were also aggressively French Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> and that will explain a lot for everybody that's like we're talking like <laughs> Like we didn't speak French, and they would talk. For, they would talk French to my dad about us when we were around. Uh, you know. Yep. Were <laughs> <laughs> my grandparents the Kensian Bobber? You get used to a certain flavor, and you just. Yeah. Yeah. They're the little hats, and they're like, "All right, off to the paper route. Yeah. We're off to the fucking factory. Hope I don't die today." But, Reminds you know. them of chimney sweeping. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no, your grandparents were instead were uh, playing hockey with Rock Carrier. 
Ask me short Ethan for a Montreal Canadian sweater. And get a Toronto Maple Leafs and can't show up to school or else the kids will shoot you. Yeah. Please, God, <laughs> make the moths come and eat my sweater. Yeah. Right off my body. It's not a. I love how our $5 bill commemorates how much the Leafs suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how nobody true. likes yeah. the Leafs. Don't give me the Leafs jersey. Give me a jersey. I want a winner. Yeah. You know? I don't want to go to school, loser. Putting on a Leafs jersey is like saying, God, I love being a disappointment. <laughs> they you should get a like, Leafs jersey. <laughs> it seems like they were going to have a good run like, no. a few years ago, didn't see, they? See, Beach, um, they're chokers. Oh, I see. They choke. <laughs> yeah. They're like Every the Canucks. Time. Which I love. Uh, yeah. Mm. They're like I mean, the Canucks, but can you call more... them chokers if they made the Stanley Cup final at least one, a couple years? Mm. That's not really choking. No. Well, they I mean, didn't win it, but yeah. that's tough to do, right? Yeah. Mm. But if you're choking in like the first round or something, that's a choker. Mm. The, uh, the, the, the one year when the Flames made the Cup, this is like 20 years ago, when they made, the, when they made it to the finals and everyone was getting super into it, and then of course they, they, after seven games they fell out or whatever, right? And then the next year, when the Oilers made it to the Cup, yeah. and then they fell out uh, at the, like seven games or whatever, and it was just like, I don't know if we as a country can take this. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's that's too much definitely, in a row. Definitely not as problem. I don't know when we'll get the Stanley Cup back in Canada. Not that it matters, because yeah. like, most teams are just chock full of Canadians anyway. Yeah, they, they consider just stealing it. They just haul it back here all the time to introduce it to their friends in like the little small town they're from. And, yeah. A heist seems a lot easier than a hockey. I can't remember if I got to touch the cup or not. You got to touch the cup. Well, they were touring it around all the Labatt breweries, and it uh, and so it showed up at the one I was working at. And is so Labatt I have a, still a thing. Uh, technically, yes, but it is owned by Interbrew, which is owned by Anheuser Busch. Anheuser Busch, yeah. I guess. Yeah. So technically, they but they are still a thing. But they um, back when I was working there, yeah, the cup was touring all the breweries, and so of course all the. All the guys working the line are like, hell yeah, I gotta get in there and get a picture and whatever. And so I, I got in to get a, a picture with it. And they did say it's okay if you wanna actually touch it, but I cannot remember if I did. I know I have a picture of me Just standing next say to it. You but did. Yeah. I think I did. I'm assuming it's cold and metallic. I assume it's covered in disease. Yeah. Hockey yeah, players are <laughs> Yeah. Cold Hockey players are like a a special breed, even among sports teams, mm. hockey players are a special breed of degeneracy. You couldn't even keep the COVID Beach, out of the... I don't think Beach licked it. No, definitely not. Even touching it. What do you touch it, then touch your face? <laughs> that's it like touching that. a whole hockey team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> think of every name that's on that cup, you basically touch that. I have yeah, to assume. Yeah, if you touch the cup, you're basically touching everyone who jerked off into it. <laughs> To assume. I highly doubt they let anyone jerk off. Well, you, you, take it home. you get 24 hours with take it. it. Oh, you get 24. Do they send like a fucking cup, they, they cup, do. cup with you? Yes, they do. Yeah, they must, right? Yeah. Because they're not just going to let you do whatever you want with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you do get it in your house. And I mean, that guy must might have seen some shit. So you just need to get like five minutes alone when he goes to the bathroom. I'm just taking the cup to the bathroom. Like, no. <laughs> what do you mean? No, it's my house. They probably have some sort of like liquid that they've devised <laughs> as a means no. of cleaning it. Yeah. <laughs> Calcanate is a great one for that. It's like one part bleach, one part gasoline, one part diet Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's probably some sort of homemade thing I'm sure they came up with to clean the Stanley Cup. It won't take the it won't it won't take the sheen off of it. It won't, you know, kill the silver, but And it won't erase what you did. Yeah. <laughs> but it will make it hygienic for someone else to touch. All right, I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I want to steal some shade oil too. Ugh. Yeah, next time we do this, just all speed paints. Just slash, slash, slash. Yep. Spray, spray. I remember uh, like 10 years ago, longer now, when Boston won the cup in Vancouver. Oh yeah. And someone published like a picture of their bar tab and it was just like 400 smeared off ice. Yeah, right? dude. Classy. And it's like, oh right, they're all 19. Mm -hmm. And they're from the United States, so most of them can't even drink legally. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, right, because they'd be yeah. in Vancouver celebrating. Yeah, they got to celebrate in Canada. Oh, We're like, God. you know, oh, if you're a yeah. rookie. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my God. 
That's, I mean, definitely yeah, why Yeah, most you, of them have never drank before. It's, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, there certainly weren't, like, 14-year-olds sneaking after bars when I went to school. Especially hockey players. Especially hockey players. Especially rookies that do, like, their training overseas. <laughs> oh, right, if you go to Europe. Yeah. What, what happens if you go to Europe, Peach? Well, the, there's a whole world of legality opens yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Alcohol culture is very relaxed. Unless, yeah, you can't drink out of it unless you've been on a team that's won. Yeah. yeah. There's got to be rules, Funko. We can't just have any. If you drink out of the Stanley Cup and your team hasn't legitimately won, it immediately poisons it's, you. It's like uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you just fucking die. Yeah. There are Immediately. Three cups. There's the original cup, which has all the things that they add to it, which mm-hmm. they at some point they stop because they're like, well, it's just going to get too tall. But they have that. But they do make the extra rings, apparently, and they, your name yeah. gets added to the other rings, or they take the other rings off or whatever. But then I believe the other two cups, there's the stand-in cup that actually goes to the, um, that gets to like be on display in a lot of places. And I think there's like another cup that lives at, a, at one of the, at the Hockey Hall of Fame or something like that. Mm-hmm. Which is the one that's got the big toe in it that you're supposed to kiss? <laughs> it's the real one. This has uh, the toe in it still, yeah. Yeah, that's what they do. You win. You go through fucking a calendar <laughs> year of the most grueling physical activity you've ever had to go through. A t- true test of mental endurance and physical endurance, and then at the end they just show you the cup and there's a big old fucking frostbitten <laughs> severed toe inside, and they're like, "Kiss it, you dumbass." <laughs> And they never talk about this out loud because they don't want the rest of the teams to fucking say no. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the copy protection on the, on the cops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do it, you immediately black out and wake up three days later. And it's like getting shot with the Men in Black fucking blaster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Heather or Cameron, can you pass me the Nuln oil? Yeah, we do have internet. Do we? <laughs> Do we have internet? Mm-hmm. Uh, I understand what? that it's just like a, it's kind of a conversation starter, but it is a very funny question. Like, <laughs> y'all have the internet? Yeah. In Canada? I, I mean, I've literally, <laughs> like, just here, every, right? like, every day I've checked the lore content in, oh, in Discord. Somebody has been like, do they have internet yet? And they're like, God, no, we don't. No. But now that answer can be different. Got any games on your phone? <laughs> Everybody's got a phone. Uh, Actually, it's, I keep a lot of games off my phone. But also, I'm not trying to give you a smart ass. I just think it's a very yeah. funny question. There's nothing yeah. wrong with it, and I understand why. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not trying to like make everyone ga- feel like you're ganged up on, because that sucks, right? No. You want know, the streamer to be like, hey, everybody, get that person. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That is not what I want. Yeah, no person. brigading. <laughs> if I could be so bold. <laughs> no games on your phone? I don't think I have any games on my phone. I I don't. I don't use my phone for gaming. I have I have Pikmin Bloom, but it is a walking app, so Yeah, Flappy Bird stopped launching. I have Solitaire <laughs> by Netflix. Remember when Angry Birds was the thing? Yeah. I just don't like draining my battery for it. Yeah, I mean. Because a lot of the games that they're are like huge battery hogs. Mm-hmm. Rovio somehow consents, convinced Sega that Angry Birds is still a thing because they're buying Rovio. Don't know why. I guess maybe they're going to make another movie. They've got more stories to tell, Beach. Yeah. <laughs> it's other colors of pigs that could show up. We don't know. Maybe that's the license that's going to be turned into an NFT game. Mm. No, mm. I, do, I do have games <laughs> on my iPad. That's what that's for. Oh, Paul, the monkey paw doesn't close for good things. You thought this was a pre-record? How fucking... Would that, that fuck you up if we just responded to the thing? Yeah, we just... Uh, mm-hmm. yeah, we have plants in the chat so yeah. that we have time yeah. to... Out- it's good, yeah. it's good right, Peach was here <laughs> about three yeah, hours ago. Yeah, now we're in 14 minutes. I need you to ask about yeah. something. I need yeah. you to make this joke because we all laugh about it. <laughs> I considered right. it. I mean, why not How's like that looking? record a thing? Pay me 20 loonies? I'll pay you 20 loonies if you can spell loonies right. Ooh. Oh! Parnets. Parnets. Good. Yeah. I'm glad that I have a monster for a character so that it's like, yeah, you, you can tell that what I did was on purpose. Whereas, like, Cameron has to make a human look like something. Like a human. 
<laughs> Is everyone following along with what I'm saying? No. no. I, I like that he's holding his saw like a, a like a, a walking stick or something. Yeah. Like like from that angle stick. doesn't really look yeah. like a <laughs> from the front. From the front, it does yeah, not look like a like... sword or a walking stick. I'll tell you what. Yeah. 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 I mean, you just got to him again. I need to see it. I'm really glad that turn you can tell forwards. the difference between. Goddamn, brother. Uh, Right there, yeah, yeah. that's Just where it is. Yellow. <laughs> yeah. It's a stream of consciousness, all right? Yeah, I hope like... he just saws my arm off with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to put that where? <laughs> is he single? I don't know. This is an aggressive stream. Yeah, it's just sawtooth. <laughs> Didn't know, wasn't always sawtooth. Then I met this girl. Now it feels like it's sawtooth. <laughs> That's how imprinting works, Cameron. That's how they get you. <sighs> Should we take another break? I don't know why, actually. <clears throat> just said that out loud. We can. We're just I don't, I don't really need Be just to. bored. He needs a break. No, I'm having a lot of fun. You can take a break if you want. I, I, I could, I could but leave. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell. You could leave. Yeah, I could leave. Yeah, you could just leave. I think you, <laughs> you should leave. Say, right? You could leave. You could leave. <laughs> but I'm hearing that an awful lot all of a sudden, so... <laughs> now you stay out of spite. Yeah. Now you're like, fuck that. Yeah, okay, I ain't going nowhere. I gotta welcome subs. Yeah. yeah. If we take a break, we can eat the sushi. Oh, I, I could, I could wait till the end of the stream, I think, for sushi. Yeah. I'm... I'm capable. Wow. Oh. Utterly blanking your wife's hint. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, this is nothing new. Are you hungry? <laughs> it's nothing new. Do you want some sushi? I'll go make you some sushi. You will not. You just cram two other sushis into one sushi. <laughs> Don't you touch it. Well, some I didn't nice friends where Adam Red and Beach slept yesterday at work, yeah. I didn't think you'd actually fall asleep. I did. Yeah. <laughs> you stayed you up would? all night. Hadn't planned to, knew I was gonna. You were fucking out. Mm hmm. That was great. I thought that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> like, damn. I can show up to Okie Oki and fall asleep if you like. Yeah, you could. You can show up anytime you want, just fall asleep. Nice. <sighs> you might mute your mic at that point, though. Yeah. Is that man sleeping on stream? It's, yeah. yeah. People like it. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? That's how it? we know he's getting sleep. They like to, <laughs> like to see you at your most vulnerable. All right. Creepy. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. yes. Nice. Blonde. Damn, she kind of looks like the, you know that, the first Star Wars and the new ones? I like the first Star Wars and the new ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you talking about Ahsoka? The little, the one that teaches. Oh, oh, oh. Like, yeah, she's know, tiny. She's tiny. Oh, uh, mop, 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 <laughs> mox, mosh, uh, Moz? Mo Rosh Hashanah. Is that who I'm thinking? She looks kind of like Moz. Her, face, is, her face looks like that. Yeah. Moz Lapita Nyong'o? Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. She had like just no hair. Yeah, she took the glasses off and yeah. What is your character again, Corey? Huh? What is your character again? Sunkeeper. Mm. Kind of the paladin, right? Yeah. So, a paladin, a doctor, a couple of rocks, and <laughs> a, walk uh, into a dungeon. A, and a big a pile of bugs. Of bugs. Some bugs and some rocks. Turn me around, so me and, turn me and Peach around, so we're not looking the wrong way. You look like idiots. We're here for a photo. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Look at that lad. Human and everything. <laughs> I'm here too. I mean, I feel like he has a cane. Like he's mm -hmm. brother. That's third leg. Third leg. Yeah. 
That shit is distracting. <laughs> Cut him off the knees and call him a tripod. Yeah. He's gonna put it over his shoulder. It looks like a baby's arm holding an apple. <laughs> uh, heard he's got a third leg. Four pack of tennis balls. I think they were. I think they were a swarm of bugs that became like sentient. Hmm. I think. One moment. Painting's hard. Not as hard as the sawbones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's at half mass. <laughs> Holy shit, that's half mass. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, it's actually a curse. Yeah. Um, yes. That genie really fucked you over. Huh? <laughs> yeah. What'd you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> He just wanted a tiny piano and a 12 inch pianist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be memorable. So they gave me a big piano. Yeah. Look, it bears to the left, all right? <laughs> the little way. Which way do you dress? Down. Yeah. <laughs> just forward. <laughs> yeah, what did you wish for? Confidence. <laughs> So are we done here? Is that what we're saying? I think so. Not yet, I could keep going. <laughs> Dr. Cameron. Oh, I'm enjoying companionship. Yeah, me too. I like hanging out with my friends. I even said on the way over here, Is I'm that like... Is what you're doing later? Yeah. <laughs> I said when we were driving over here, I'm like, well, even if they don't have internet, we should just hang out and just paint, because we should just get that over with. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to get done at some point, so let's just paint and have a good time. <laughs> Sorry, this is just what's happening in our Valheim server right now. What does that say? Oh, good, yes. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Molly? No, well, probably. You're right. <laughs> We've got Shrek Swamp now. What have they done? Shrek Swamp. Also, Ben found onions. So that's what oh. I'm missing by hanging out here. Mm. Onions. <laughs> onions. The onions, Cameron. I don't think you understand. <laughs> They're delicious. They've got layers. What kind of onions? Purple, yellow, small, green. Oh yeah, the green onions? They're probably like yellow onions. Oh, okay. Just kind of your normal everyday. Probably normal yeah, standard onions. onion. Standard mm -hmm. onion. Come Basic to you in fishnets. Basic layered onion. Alliums. <laughs> they are, aren't mm -hmm. they? They are. They put the yum in allium. So what's this that you both went with? Shade oil. Nuln shade, or nuln oil. Yeah. yeah. It is the name of a shade paint made by Games Workshop. It's basically a black wash, uh, which is a transparent, very thin paint that just like sinks into <laughs> recesses on the model. Mm. So if you've done like, yeah. You got so something... if, you, if you grab mine, you can see like in the hair and stuff. It just seems like, oh, hey, look, you picked up all the details. Oh, yeah, little dark spaces. Yep. Like uh, shadows and stuff. Yeah, it just goes in the cracks. So you Colloquially just kind of like throw among, it on everything? Yep. Yeah. yeah, known among Warhammer players as liquid skill. I put a little on my head, a little on my chest, and a little on my back. <laughs> like some vapor rub? Yeah. <laughs> to help me sleep, you know. What's that other stuff that you had that was like, maybe this is the same thing, uh, but that other stuff that you had, Cameron, that was, the, it was a similar kind of thing that you only ever had like, like you had like half a bottle left. And you're like, if I put this on my dwarf or on the dwarf when I was painting it from Hero Quest, it's gonna look really good, but also. Where is my flesh wash? Flesh wash! Where is it? it? In the lid cup thing. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. I had a tiny little bit of Games Workshop flesh wash left from like flesh wash. Yeah. 
Doctor Where Zog's is it? flesh wash. I thought it was, it was like a little glass bottle. Yeah, it's one of these. Yeah. Like, this is my red ink, which is still good. Um, but where is the flesh wash? It's one of these. In the middle. It's probably like $90 on eBay now, isn't it? Kind of. Yeah. Anyway, it's just very good. I'm, I'm actually replacing it, finding it uh, a very good replacement in Liquitex Transparent Burnt Sienna Ink. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah. Welcome, Raiders. Oh, hello. I'm an arbitrary hero. What are you doing? What are you streaming? You're legally obligated to tell us. <laughs> or I'm going to start fucking blasting. He will. Yeah. Not Reichland Flesh Shake, Mahandra. A much older thing. Uh, it was literally called Flesh Wash. Google that. Save search off. Never listen to Peach. If you can find, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. Send it to me. Mail time. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Money, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it one word or two words? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where my bottle of it is. Ah. I'm actually kind of... The flesh wash. Concerned. Flesh wash. Flesh wash. Flesh wash. Flesh wash. Flesh wash. Flesh wash. Sounds like a good character name. Wash. Flesh wash. Flesh wash. Yep. Next character we unbox will be flesh wash. Mm. Oh, that's reasonably. Twenty dollars U.S. for the like the bolt gun shell shaped bottle. Or is this like I some sort of that's new the thing? way you describe it. <laughs> yeah, it's shaped like a bolt gun shell, that fictional made up ammo. I mean, it's what how people refer to them when these really? game pots were come, came out. That's funny. Really? Oh. Yeah. Sealed. Damn. Sealed. Wow. Oh, it, yeah, but it's $20 US on eBay, which means it's another $50 or $60 shipping. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Ah, flesh wash, all one word, is fleshlight cleaner. <laughs> you wouldn't, yeah, don't mix those up. <laughs> ah. That's so gross. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, different bottle, actually. That was an older one that didn't work as well. Posk. That's, that's this era of paint pot. Ah. Not the army I'm shader one. This new nope. studio, we're just showing away our feet for free. Uh, I am look. Blame Chad, you got You got to listen to me. Somebody. It's the it is the ball. Games Workshop Citadel. Put it on the uh, put Citadel it, color. Let's put it on the thing and then get can, a close up of it. Twitch chat just listen to camera for once in your life. <laughs> it looked like that. This is the one. Only instead of red ink, it would be flesh, flesh wash. wash. Flesh wash. Look, I'm not shaming anyone for washing your flesh like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Probably oh should. God. Now Daya's got no oil. Please wash your fleshlight. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Please wash your flesh. Ah, speaking of washing, I'm gonna wash my brush. Thank you. I have some brush conditioner with me. I'm guessing just swizzling it in the thing is not a great idea. Mm -hmm. Let's get real clean. It's me, the swizzler. Harder. Like. Yeah. Like yeah, there that. you go. Get in there. Okay. Now what happens? Uh, you just kind of swirl it around, and then we'll actually go to the washroom to actually rinse off the conditioner. Do I uh, do I splay out the hairs? No. Okay. I, you I, roll it. I roll it like this. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Wash this yeah, off. It's, it's natural, natural hairs, so. Yeah. You don't want to break them. Yeah. You don't want them to dry out. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to try to rinse this. I mean, it's just water on a brush. I can't fuck that up. <laughs> I don't know. I believe in you. Fire starts. Be surprised what you can do that makes yeah. fire happen. Wow. 
water bananas or something. <clears throat> yeah, better find new moon base. Whoop! Beach burnt it down already. Hey, Paul? Yes? You never <laughs> answered my question from before. What was the question? <laughs> yeah. Why are we just showing off our feet for free? Nobody it, wants to pay. It, is this different than what we were doing before? Yeah. It is not different from what we were doing before. Oh. I thought this shot was tighter. Well, we now have lights uh, on the floor, too. Though. No, you can kind of always see our feet. Yeah. Although they were more in shadow. I mean, when we're not using the long, the wide table, the shot is tighter. But. Yeah. Are you... We do have lights further back now, don't we? Yeah, so we'll light the floor a little more. Are you from an alternate universe? We're like Nelson Mandela died in prison. <laughs> we can. Not a to say. We can. Uh, we can always hang a modesty curtain. Oh yeah, you know we used to have a curtain on the thing. Yeah, we could just on um, one of the. Just hang a modesty you, curtain in front. A modesty curtain for your feet. <clears throat> yeah. I guess we should have like a curtain that can slide back so that when they do pay for feet showing, we can yeah. show our feet. Stick our feet out through the thing and wiggle them around a little bit. It's only free if you ignore the money I've been paying Paul for the extra wide angle shot. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you're just making a killing over here? Uh, it's fine, because we use his credit card for everything. <laughs> That's true. Just feast on those little piggies. Oh, I should, I should pay off our credit cards. That's a good idea. Been distracted. Oh, yeah. By what? My <laughs> birthday. Uh, oh, well, Molly, good distraction. There was a way to, but yeah, it's true, Molly. Actually, if only there was a way to cover it up. Oh well. I do. No I, solutions here. I do like the <laughs> idea of putting a sensor bar or blurring that at the feet. <laughs> Just come on, mosaic it. Yeah, or I don't like. I get a freaking um, the mosaic's good. I like that. Uh, but or just like a um, little modesty curtain. Uh, <laughs> A uh, <laughs> higher. You Photo can still see my chub. <laughs> Photoshop swirl effect. Mm -hmm. Hey! I feel like we're sinking into the inkness. Like this is kind of. <laughs> that looks weird. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah. the way it should be. Never mind. Show off the grippers. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Remember that part in Dune where he went back under the black ink? Yeah, that was good. Mm. <laughs> We're gonna get some VTuber rigs, but they're just gonna put sensor bars. Actually, over put faces. the black bar, and we'll just put a scrolling like ticker. It says "Top Donator," <laughs> and then you know. Yeah, yeah. Because that incentivizes uh, more people to donate because they want to be number one on the leaderboard. Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. well, Is that since, how it works? Oh God. Since since feet are actually the money maker, could we get the blackness to cover the top? Half. I'm gonna have to get a wheel out. Show like off our feet. <laughs> that's it. Just yeah. feet. Yeah. Yeah. But the ticker goes up above. And if I someone gets to your spot, one of us takes off a shoe. <laughs> yeah, the black looks weird, so how about... Oh no. Not even yeah. better, oh, I was gonna hey. say. Oh, I don't oh, like tessellated. that. Okay, mm -hmm. but, but, but again, just feet. <laughs> just feet. Uh. Only feet? <laughs> Only feet. Yeah. Yeah. Now put this part on a delay. <laughs> oh no. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> delay oh this God. by about, by about I'm 30. I'm double. Four crusties. <laughs> That's kind of weird, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cut, cut the, cut was the that, barrier. Was that mm -hmm. shit you used to talk in Dance of the Seven Veils or whatever? Yeah, the uh, three veils. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, so we yeah. very we're very showing three there. now. Well, <laughs> so we put all the other four. Couldn't yeah. find all seven. <laughs> Eight. Fuck. It's gonna be a very short dance. Look, <laughs> so I was why I was made aware that it was seven veils. Yes. It is. It used to be. Yeah. Man, inflation thanks, comes through us all. Thanks, Dark Brandon. Yeah. Thanks, Bezos. <laughs> Bezos probably took half. Mm -hmm. Right? Half the veils went to Bezos. Good. Yes. yes. No, this is yeah. what I was yes. hoping for. Yes. We, need yeah. to, we need to go to, like, thanks for the 48 month veil. <laughs> Bezos gets half. So, really, there's only three and a half veils on seven do, anymore. Do, do, do. <laughs> 
We all get called into a meeting with Graham. Do it. It's like, I just need to know what the hell is talking about. Oh, you got good socks. I do. You got good socks today. Bacon and eggs. All right. Okay, all right. I have foxes. This is one of my 24 identical socks I own. Only one. I don't think my socks match. (laughs) Fuck, they don't. Nice. That's good. My socks don't match. Freedom. Heather used to wear non-matching socks. Didn't you used to do that too? No, no, I'm Actually, I don't think you've ever seen my fucking giant feet, have you? Go fuck, they look extra big. Compared to like other humans. What the fuck are these? (laughs) I can pick up, like this looks like a hand. (laughs) (laughs) This is fucking thing from Adam's family. Long (laughs) hand. Yeah, like look at this shit. (laughs) Look how long it is. Brother, have you not fucking, seen? No, I've never paid attention. I, Cause I never see. I only see my feet when I look down on the shower. I don't think about it when it's compared to other people. Now I'm like, fucking sideshow Bob looking ass, fucking <laughs> Manon with your big ass feet. <laughs> Getting bigger, uh, bro. <laughs> I'm about getting ready to hide my shame. This shit is fucking big. Look at them. Look how cool. Oh. They look sturdy. What are you no, talking they about? Don't. They look fucking weird. This is like something they would fucking make fun of on that fucking MXT, whatever the fucking. What's the fucking show where they watch the movie and they're like, what the fuck is that? You know? MST3K. MST3K, yeah. yeah. They'd, find, they'd see something like my foot would be on screen for like. A split second, like, wait, 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 rewind it. Yeah. <laughs> Enhance, what the fuck was that? And then they just show my big fucking foot, and they're like, they make a joke about it for like an hour, and it's yeah. like, ha Yeah. Like, it's Jesus. actually, your, your foot is actually known as Adam's monster, yes. Yeah, it's, fuck, yeah. It's Adam's foot. Yeah. <laughs> actually, the foot belonged to the Adam, not... <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Look at Good lord, brother. Uh... Well, yeah. we know what fucking happened to fucking Sam Squatch. <laughs> Got a job at Loading Ready Run. We know where Adam put all his uh, character points. <laughs> Feet? Yeah, that's where I was like, it's okay, like, God, no, I want to be extra to, stable. And we like, all right. Get feet. Let's like, flatten really those bad boys out and, and make them extra. Speed. What did you wish for from the genie? Stability. New, yeah. <laughs> yeah, new, new feet. Yeah. New feet just dropped. Jesus Christ. Financial stability. Well, now you can just stand on dollar bills extra easy. <laughs> so many more dollar bills can fit. <laughs> you, say, you rolled a 19 in charisma is what you're saying, and you have giant feet now. Yeah. Yeah. And the confidence to match. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh... They say about men with giant feet is they have trouble buying shoes. Mm. Dude, buying shoes sucks. Yeah. Size 13? 14? 17. 17. Oh. Brother, I'm a 17. I've never seen that even at like any store. Yeah. No, they don't. When I was a kid, when I was in grade three, I wore a size nine men's. In grade three? Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. And Holy then shit. In, so grade, so many in grade shoes nine, in grade I was wearing a size 13 men's. Oh, my God. So, like, when you was to go to, because, like, the farther back in time you go, um, you were smaller. The smaller people. No, are, but yes. also the like, there's more. At, like, it's a little bit easier now because yeah, because global. Yeah, there was no fucking internet. No. Yeah. So what you would do is you go to Foot Locker and they'd be like, "Yeah, I got a size 13." They're like, they give you that face. Like, and then did you know there's a section in the back of Foot Locker with like a fucking cobwebs and shit, and <laughs> like they just got a wall. Over. Yeah, they got a wall <laughs> with like only. four shoes on them. They're just like, and it's like the same as out front, but yeah. it's just out in the back. Yeah. And so they put that there, and they're like, "All right, that's your selection." I'll be like. Well, these are all ugly, and I'm like fucking 13, you know, or 12. You want to look cool. Yeah, you want, you want cool. Jordans. No, you don't get yeah. to look cool no. when your feet are like that. You know what happens? Everyone makes fun of you. Which is funny because you could probably fit Jordan's own Jordans. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm wearing. I'm fucking walking around in a pair of fucking like Suchi New Balance fucking <laughs> goddamn hacker shoes, and fucking everyone's making fun of me, and I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> You know? <laughs> nobody gives a shit. When you're growing up tall, nobody gives a fuck. It's not like a bonus. You know, yeah. like everybody's yeah, like, wait, oh, wait. I wish I was tall. They look at you and they tell you you're good at sports. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what happens. They care. What's They're up, just like, bean? Hey, <laughs> how's the basketball going? Yeah. It's like, I'm not playing basketball. Yeah. Oh my god. We you used to join the volleyball team. Yeah. Oh, I guess, yeah. As a, as, as a, um, as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like you say girl, lady, woman, woman. As a woman, join a volleyball team. As a man, join a basketball team. It tends to be how it, it goes, right? I, my teams had, my schools had both. For men and women. Yes. yes. I just we, we, they we, they allowed the, multiple genders to play sports. I just meant the no, common thing is that oh you there. see a girl you're like oh you should join the volleyball team. No, Never the, the women's basketball team for some reason. I don't Being know tall actually sucks. No, I almost joined the football team. I don't know what really? the fuck our obsession is with like oh I wish I was tall. No, you don't. Buying pants sucks. Buying shoes sucks. Pants are the worst. Yeah. It's just because you know when I stand pants next to you gamble. when I stand next to you Adam and I look up at you I feel comforted somehow. <laughs> Like, wants you to I, wrap him in your big I'm gonna be, arms. I'm gonna be taken care of somehow. I don't What's know why. What's your Uh I usually wear like a 36. I wear. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. It, it's fucking impossible. Yeah. People will tell you they don't exist. Yeah, they don't. Like, and then you order them online. Yeah. With some pants companies, a 36 is not the same. It's like not yeah. universal. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no. Fucking. Uh, it's they just do like, vanity sizing now. For yeah. Even like, for men. Fuck. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's the worst. Yeah. Like I've, I've actually had people tell me. No, you're not. Here, try these 32s. And they come out of the chamber and they're like, they're like, they're like culottes. They look like fucking Tintin. <laughs> and they're like, where are you wearing those? And I'm like, where are my waist? These clam diggers. And my, my, my feet are wet, but my cuffs are bone dry. <laughs> like, it's just horse uh, It's Yeah, it's bad. In, like the, when, I know I have like a 41, 42 inch waist. But yeah. I wear 38s. Actually, I think what I'm wearing right now is a 36, and I hate this oh, shit. Like a pants swap. I guess, yeah. Oh. And, but it's like it's frustrating because it, it's like I just want to know what the number is so I can buy the thing that corresponds to the number, and it's not fair that they do that now. It's not fair. It's like because it, you never know when you're going to buy anything, and it's like yep. it makes it harder to buy clothes, and that's just I don't want to go buy clothes. So that's frustrating. I mean, I don't like trying clothes on. It's so wild it's not standardized. Yeah. Like, yeah, it like, should be the same it everywhere. It should just be the same everywhere. Yeah, well, yeah, like you would think so. We started off with that, right? Yeah. Because it was standardized. Yeah. yeah. And now it's it's nothing. I started buying shoes in um, EU that's sizing. That's a nightmare. I started buying my shoes in EU sizing because the only things I could get were like that that I wanted to wear. I don't have unusual size feet, just the things I wanted to buy. I think I'm like a 140. We're like it's like oh, so I'm like a 42 or a 43 or whatever it was. I'm like okay, that's great. That's what that is. And then I started when I would buy these things online, they'd show up and I put them on. They didn't fit, and I'm like, you literally said your shoe was this size, and I'm like that can't be that can't be right because it's off somehow. So yeah, and it's not like an arbitrary measurement either. No, right? It's like it's supposed to be you know centimeters or something, yeah. right? But I, when I went to a walk in comfort here in town, uh, I tried on like uh, the shoes I'm wearing right now, which are these Merrill slip on mocks because I'm lazy. Um, like these are like a nine and a half. And so I tried on nine and a half and it was the most uncomfortable. It's just like, this doesn't work. And then I, the dude's like, are you a wide foot? I'm like, I, just, I don't know. He goes and he gets a wide foot, brings it back out, same size. I put it on. Every part of the shoe fits perfectly. And I'm oh, like, okay. how is it that different that just My by making the shoe are. a little wider, right? Yeah. Man with I, wide feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With them wide grippers. Yeah. I have narrow feet, the base of the so pillow. like, I just can't find a lot of shoes. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. Are you like a double E or something, or? Uh, no, no, I just like, things just don't fit. Mm, fair. I, I've yeah. never actually figured out <laughs> what size my feet are supposed to be. I'm supposed to believe a Brannock device, but I'm just kind of like, I don't know, man. Like. Doesn't seem right. That sucks. I guess I got maybe at least my biggest problem is just my feet are too big. I don't have to worry about wide or whatever. Yeah, you have very very few choices. So. Yeah. But I just oh I just mean like I didn't realize how bad it was. Like if your feet were wide, my feet aren't wide. My feet are, I think, pretty regular. You right? can go buy a sne when you get a sneaker that's a size 15. You're like it yeah, fits. Yeah, I never have that's a problem. Cool. Like any 17 I buy usually fits. It's just, yeah. I don't think I've ever had a problem. Some, but some companies like, uh, I can't remember who make like, their 17 is like fucking free, like a, a <laughs> just like a, it's way too big. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's like, there's like an inch of space. I'm like, what the hell? Oh yeah. Who's 17 is this? Fucking, <laughs> is he tucking that giraffe into bed, moving the fucking rocking chair back into the, <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you're Canadian and grew up in the 90s without yeah. saying a word. Like, oh my god. Oh. Man, whose shoe is this? 
to check the label twice, make sure I got mailed to the right. Did I open someone else's mail? Because I do not want to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to give these to the guy they belong yeah, to. Yeah, clearly beat the piss out of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's, he's probably very got pointy some bones toes. to eat. You know, he's <laughs> probably pretty hungry. <laughs> And I've never been in a fight in my life, so I'm losing that one. No. You know? mm. Really? Nah, never once in my life. Nice. No. I think a lot of it, too, is most people won't, don't pick fights with big, tall people. I mean, it's generally not a uh, winning strategy. Yeah. Nah, I mean, trust me, I'll crumble. <laughs> you hit me once, and that's it. I'm like, ah, okay, fuck. <laughs> you win. Take my car, I should. Yeah, yeah, take whatever you want. Am I the only one still working? Yep. Hey, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm it's fine. Oh, no, it's I'm fine. I'm we got time to go yeah. still. So. Just because you well, work like, out doesn't mean you're good at fighting. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, okay, because, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, Before like, you leave the gym every day, they're like, you have to throw a few punches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have some poor guy they chained to the wall, we have to hit him on our way out. We're like, sorry, Steve. And he's like, oh, fuck, it's a living, yeah. you know? <laughs> Did you ever take martial arts? No. No, really? No. Okay. Nothing. But your high kick, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I took uh, Taekwondo for about a year. And uh, from from like Canadian national champions, which was pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. nice. Did they make you kick a pole? No. Metal pole? No. Naked metal pole? Why? <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> Taekwondo is a kitchen sport. It yeah, is. But yeah. they don't make you do that. No, what, they what don't. What mall did you take your Taekwondo in? <laughs> there were like what only mall? one where we got. Yeah. Did you take your Taekwondo class out of the back of a like, fucking 92 fucking Tercel? <laughs> like, in the basement, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jesus. That's Python rough. Kai. Yeah. What, what belt was that? It wasn't me, it was my cousins. Oh, and I see. Their parents took them out of it once they heard about the pole. That's fair, yeah. No, we didn't. We weren't allowed to. We weren't allowed to try to break wood until we hit our green belts. Oh no, it's not for breaking. It was just for toughening up your shins. That's the dumbest thing I've ever. Are you heard. sure you went to a? Well, the cousins. Yeah. Class. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I, I actually, I took my. They, they half structured belts because they were like, so we'll have you do a white belt and then you go to your yellow belt and then you're supposed to go to your green belt. But instead, what they're like, instead we're gonna do, you get a green stripe on your belt. And then, it, you know, you take your things towards that, and it's like, oh, that's interesting. never heard of that before. So I did my green stripe, and they're like, okay, so the rumors were, because never, I never knew for certain, it was like, the rumors were, if you go for your green belt, then you're going to have to break a board. And I'm like, well, I'm done. Oh, I'm done taking Taekwondo, because yeah. I, I don't care if I break were, a board, don't really want to try. There were rumors about... You can't about, stop moving uh, the goalposts so much. <laughs> there were rumors of track and field day about how, like, the high jump was supposed to work, so I did not participate in high jump. Oh. What were the rumors? There were spikes that you, underneath That you there. had to like land on your neck in a certain way or something? <laughs> I mean, I guess. Actually, like... <laughs> high jump would be such a sick sport if sometimes the mat was just a mimic. <laughs> just slurp. <laughs> just fucking hate you. They don't know, you know? Okay, let's continue with this. What if you just landed in like a vat of jello? Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm -hmm. just... <laughs> yeah. It's like, this I mean, is really hard. Really you probably wouldn't break through, you just. Just skip off. Yeah. Or just, just a, skip off like bang and you just keep of going. Oublet. <laughs> <laughs> Do the viewers get to know ahead of time? No, because no, no, like, no. Because their no loved tension. ones might try to stop them. We're trying to watch for our entertainment. There's what no you, tension there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No one can know. They can't be warned. It's a risk they take. You want that gold medal? Mm -hmm. Fucking don't get eaten. They started by teaching us how to do the scissor kick over in the high jump. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You know stuff. those, like, the water beads that disappear in water? Yes. It's like a tank with water in it, but it's full of those beads. They... So you land in it, <laughs> <laughs> and then you're just like, ew, what are these? You, just, you, just, you because... power dive to the bottom. I would, when the big ones that I had after the last time we did summer games, they, when you put your hands in, they just go right to the bottom. Like, it's, there's no resistance. Corey just described like a worse version of a foam pit. Just like... You imagine, like a foam pit, except yeah. it's made out of water beads with water in it, so you can't tell. It'd be like that, um, did you go to that thing 
at New West, the museum yes. at New West, where it was all black balloons. No, that sounds cool. It was awesome. It was, it was a, a huge glass room filled with black balloons. And you walked through it, and they were fairly <laughs> sturdy, so you couldn't pop them by accident. But did it make the noise? Squeak, 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 squeak. Yeah, as you squeak, squeak, squeak through it, and you would move around and stuff, and you and it's like, oh, this will be cool, and you start walking through it, and you realize it's like this is incredibly disorienting because the the lights from up above are being like reflected but diffused by the black balloons, and then all the glass is actually reflecting all of the stuff back, so it looks mm. like you're in a massive room, and as you walk along, it's like I actually don't know how to get out of here. I'm uh -huh. just in this big room full of stuff, and you can hear other people walking around. Yeah, that's why I didn't go in. I didn't want to touch other people. It was neat. I don't mimics pretend to be healing potions because no DM that's ever run a game has a creative cell in their brain. And that's not what the D DMG says. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the rule book. One of the results in the potion mixing, t potion mixing table just makes you think it works. That's good. I like that. I always liked the idea that air conditioning didn't actually cool anything, it just sprayed chemicals into the air that made you hallucinate that you were cold. Like, like menthol? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Minty fresh vapor. Yeah. Right in my eyeballs. I got some of that still if you want. Oh, the, the drops? Like, yeah. I wish I could oh. ask this question. Yeah. Get like They're probably like three or four years old by now. Wow. So. Mm -hmm. They're probably very bad for your eyes. I love hearing like DMs say, what is the, like hearing DM or asking DMs like, what's the most fucked up thing you've done to your group and got away with that they haven't killed you over, you know? <laughs> no, most, it's the players are the worst. Yeah, yeah players are worse. Yeah, most stories I've heard have been the players who have been doing yeah, it to true. themselves, yeah. not really like, the I've, okay. told, I've told this story before, but this one I think is hilarious. I heard from a friend that he was in a game or he's running a game? He was running a game. This was years and years ago. I haven't talked to the student forever. But he was running a game and he had this big fucking thing planned out and these the players showed up at this kingdom and then the barbarian randomly was just like, the king's a doppelganger and fucking threw his great axe at the king just for no fucking reason mm -hmm. and fucking crit and killed the king. King was a fucking doppelganger. <laughs> <laughs> and the DM was just like, well, Fuck me, man. <laughs> Shouldn't have left your computer unlocked, dude. I saw yeah. all your notes. <laughs> I don't know what the soul read on that one was, but... Woof. Yeah, that's... But I guess, like, wait, they should... Now that I've had time to think about it, it's like, what I would have done probably was just like, yeah, sure, you killed the king, but then everyone else starts turning. Like, they all show that they're oh. all doppelgangers, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Then you're fucked. Yeah, right, you killed the king of the doppelgangers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, this is the kingdom of the doppelgangers. <laughs> yeah. You prick. You're right, he was a doppelganger. We're all doppelgangers. This, this is doppelgangia. Doppelgangia. <laughs> Doppelgangnam uh, style. I just, uh, one thing a DM did to me that was really good was um, I was playing like a very young character who was like a knight, right? Mm. And he had you know, various images in his mind of what he wanted his life to be like. And he got his heroic last stand, except another character came back for me and died so that I could escape. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> it's real, real cutting you off yeah, the knees yeah. there. Huh. It was brutal. <laughs> okay, how does that look? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got that little bag of files, so I painted them all like different colors. Yeah. I don't like it when yours is next to mine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some shade oil for yours? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Farther. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's better. Yeah, yeah. No, no, keep it on screen, but just, you know, not so close. Give us just the tip. Yeah. God, when he's standing like that. Mm. So. Oh, man. He's just walking around with it out. Mm -hmm. It looks real good. Thank you. Yeah. Turns out, Cameron, all that time spent painting has made you pretty good at painting. And fine motor skills are transferable. Like between not, lives not or yeah. like when you visit Kai to another place. Oh, 
Yes, when I, yeah. When you get in, hit by the truck. In my imagination, what? when I get hit by a truck later tonight. <laughs> when he gets Isekai'd, yeah. he's going to have some transferable skills. He's going to make little war games in whatever fantasy realm. Oh, is that that's the anime thing where you end up the another transported world, yes. into a video game or something? Yeah, usually yeah. you get hit by a truck. Yeah. I'm glad truck that we've... Coon. Yeah. Truck coon, yeah. I'm glad that we've turned it into a verb to get isekai'd. Mm-hmm. The Heather and I were talking about this the other day. What if uh, what if a dude gets hit by a truck, um, but the but he doesn't get reincarnated into another world. He just gets reincarnated back into his same body <laughs> in a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and it's to all of us, Beach. <laughs> and it's like and but or I've got that is- isekai'd into a fantasy world where they cannot cure my bones. <laughs> Isn't this season the one with the the vending machine guy? Yes. It yeah. Is. Yeah. The uh, but just the idea of like he gets kind of put back into his own body and he's fine. Um, so it's almost like the truck just kind of went through him, right? Not like he's a ghost, but anyway. Uh, but he's fine, and but just as he's getting sent back, Wait. the goddess who like says, "Oh, I'll reincarnate you. That's no problem." Flesh. Hey, How where was it? It looks like this. Buy him some of this. How did that happen? I don't know. Where was it the entire time? That's so cool. Yeah, I'm Paul. Glad you found it. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, Paul. What did you do with it? Where are you hiding it, Paul? <laughs> I, I guess I was hiding it in your box full of paints. I guess so. That's a metaphor. Euphemism? Euphemism. It's a metaphor. Anyway, it ends up that once he gets reincarnated, the goddess is like, oh, I should give you a cheat ability while I'm at it, and just snaps him back to life, and he just spends the entire time trying to figure out what his ability is. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. She just gaslit him like Yeah, that. basically yeah, just sort of tells him this thing, but it's not true. And he just spends the whole time trying to figure it out. I'm like, that would be a pretty good series, because he'd have to like try to do stuff that'd be interesting and suck at it. Your flesh yeah. wash is out. Yeah, don't want to lose that. My flesh wash is just hanging out. <laughs> well, it looks like you're okay with it the way the saw bones are walking around. <laughs> what, is with the, uh, what is with that Gohan's uh, studio that is making oh. everything with the weirdest camera angles? And people having the longest legs. Is that the, the one with the intro where they walk up the stairs? Yeah. yeah. That looked so bad. Mm-hmm. Like it was confusing. It's not the only season, series they're doing this season. I got yeah. motion sick. Yeah. yeah. It's so like yaoi legs? Yeah, not actually, even. it's or, 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 or like well, not like clamp style. No, not, not clamp style. <laughs> not clamp style. There's, there's a, they're shooting everything with like a, a hyper realistic like lens kind of thing. So there's lots it's of like fisheye and stuff. It's but all it's CGI like, too. So the camera's moving at the, a different pace. So than you're shooting else. somebody's foot from the ground and you're shooting them like right up, so it looks incredibly elongated and like really. It sounds like the director just discovered yeah. like that they could. It's it's cinematographically gra- cinematographically. Masturbatory is what it is. It yeah. does nothing to add to the story. Masturbatory. It does nothing there, to the story. There are Masturbatory. camera angles that happen for no <laughs> reason. Say it like that. Yeah. Masturbatory? Masturbatory. Is that how you're supposed to pronounce That's it? how you'd say that one word, yes. Oh. Yeah. In that situation only? Yeah, pretty much. Masturbatory. Yeah. Masturbatory. Yeah. Masturbatory. You can hear Masturbatory. more words like that when I do my anime roundup, which is going to be sometime later this week. DD. Masturbatory. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Well, on that lesson that we've taught chat, I think we can wrap up for the day. Yeah. This has been a great stream. Yeah, Mm -hmm. get out. Yeah, no, beat it. (laughs) Hit the bricks. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Remember. Life sucks, hit the bricks. (laughs) And by the bricks, we mean the subscribe button Mm -hmm. or the follow button. Or the give us money button. Patreon.com slash loading ready run. Button, button. Who's got the button? Who's got the button? It's like Dragon Ball. Say, g- give us a good night, I guess. Button, button. Good night, I guess. <laughs>